Sure. Along with every federal court that has addressed this issue, therefore, there is really no argument left to be made. You can support FPP Radio by joining the FANS program. Fans are friends, allies, and numeri supporters. Fans help FPP afford to produce more original content. To learn more or to join the fans program, visit fans.fppradio.com. That's F A N S.fppradio.com. The Wall Street Journal reports, The battle for Americans' poorest consumers intensified Monday with Dollar Tree's agreement to buy rival Family Dollar for about $8.5 billion. The chains have thrived during the recession as the number of working Americans living in poverty increased by nearly 40%, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. The stores appeal to cash-trapped shoppers with bargain basement prices and locations that were closer to their home than many of the Walmart supercenters. The smaller package size of everyday items like laundry detergent and cereal fit into the budgets of consumers living paycheck to paycheck. Total expenditures by U.S. households that earned less than $30,000 has been flat at an annual total of just over $1 trillion since 2008, according to the latest data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's The Onion Radio News. General Motors reports record sales of its new disposable car. This is Doyle Redland reporting. General Motors has announced a 56% increase in earnings this year, attributing much of it to February's wildly successful launch of the GMC Whim, the first-ever non-refillable disposable automobile. Debuting at a cost of $1,100 each, the vehicles are flying out of showrooms as quickly as dealers can stock them. Whim enthusiast Glenn Shriver. I recently consumed four vehicles driving from my home to Daytona Beach for the first annual Whim Owners Convention. I've already collected all eight colors. Rival automakers are preparing to counter with their own lines of disposable cars, including the Ford Temporaire and the Chrysler Dumper. The 2002 Mitsubishi Ditch will be unveiled later this year with a projected sticker price of $799. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up whatever you want toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Head over to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that you'll find on the site completely free. With you tonight, it is Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Johnny Ray, did you get a haircut or something? What happened with you? I did. I had a... a Full beard, but I have there to play. I have to play Sherlock Holmes uh-huh. or Sherlock Holmes, as I like to call him, <laughs> and Jack in the importance of being earnest. So I had to lose my beard. Leading men don't have beards. I guess you're right about that. Usually the bad guy does, right? Yeah, like you. <laughs> so uh, lots of stuff to talk about. Bad people wearing their pants down around their crotch or wherever that is. Uh, the saggy pants ban. We teased this last night. We never got into the story and then possible police hazing incident uh, coming up as well as a crackdown on some Times Square characters, uh, some folks wearing costumes and things like that. So all kinds of interesting things in the news. Of course, your calls are welcome about whatever's on your mind. You dial in toll free at 855-450-FREE and we'll take your calls about anything. You can also join us via Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm. Story from ABC News, a Florida City Councilwoman tired of seeing young men walking the streets of Ocala with their underwear showing, finally convinced her fellow council members to put a stop to it after a five-year battle. This is an old battle. This this story recycles, doesn't it? Oh, it's come back time and time again. Not necessarily for the city of Ocala in this particular case, but in various different places, the saggy pants ban has been put into effect. And, you know, honestly... We don't get to hear the effects of it usually on Free Talk Live. I mean, we kind of rely on our listeners to submit content over at freetalklive.com. Otherwise, it's just, you know, me, Mark, and Johnny Ray doing show prep as we go throughout the day and finding what we happen to find. Finding follow-ups after a law like this, you know, gets passed is very difficult. Um, You know, if it gets challenged and is successfully overturned, we might see news about that. 
but I haven't seen that news. Well, I mean, um, and then, you know, is it being, cra- you know, are people being cracked down upon? What are the results of the law? Right. The I mean, it's clearly illegal, um, you know, this uh, this law. But, you know, so what? They they don't care what the results of uh, Ill- illegal wa- laws are. Well, they why just- do you say it's illegal? This you can't do that in America. <laughs> you can't tell people what they can wear on the streets and what they can't wear on the well, streets. There's laws that say uh, in some places that women can't be topless. Yeah, I don't think that too many higher courts are going to say that this is constitutional. Um, so that's my interpretation of it. My interpretation is is that you can wear the pants you want to wear, mm-hmm. even if it looks, you know, silly to me. Also, you know, what is underwear? What what fabric is underwear? There's what various de- fabrics. What defines underwear? Uh, there's lots of different fabrics that, I mean, you know, so you're telling me I can walk down the street in pajamas, mm. which Maybe not in Ocala. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't know either, but uh, I've seen people out in their jammies, and I don't think, I don't have that big of a problem with it, mm. honestly. I mean, they, you know, I mean, there's clearly I wouldn't recommend going to a job interview in them. But, but Mark, there, uh, you know, in the past have been restrictions on beaches about what people can wear or how revealing the articles of clothing might be. Now, of course, in the case of the saggy pants, nobody can really argue that. There's much being revealed in most of the instances because sometimes usually there's, there's anal clefts sometimes, but usually what's being revealed is the underpants being uh, the boxers or, yep. or, or what is on a display. lot of these underpants. I mean, it seems crazy to me, but you can get underpants that cost, you know, 15, 20, 25 dollars a pair. No wonder people want to show them off. Mary Sue Rich, a councilwoman for Ocala, was the driving force for the law, said Janine Robbins, public information officer for the city of Ocala. The ordinance passed July 15th in a unanimous vote. Not a single dissenter on the city of Ocala council. Makes it illegal to wear pants two inches below the natural waistline. And where is this natural waistline? (laughs) Does the cop... Is the cop the most qualified person in Ocala to figure out what a natural waistline is? And are they equipped with rulers? And if not, will they be equipped with uh, rulers? Because I've read at some point in my life that a woman's uh, waist is at her navel and a man's waist is an inch and a half below his navel. Is this true for five-foot men? Is it also true for six-foot-five men? Well, you better figure it out, Ocala, because the violators are facing a penalty of possible jail time and a fine of up to $500. Ordinance affects city-owned or leased property, including sidewalks, streets, and parks. So pretty much wherever you are, unless it's on private property, they're going to come after you if you have. Supposedly, that's what they're suggesting here. Whether the police are going to be vigorous in their enforcement is another question. They're going to be as vigorous as they feel like. I'm touching my waistline right now, and I feel my waist bones. The tops of my waist bones the are hip, right underneath. Hip bones that. or whatever? Is hip that, bones. What's is that, that? Your hip bones? Oh, I see. I don't know what they are. I'm is, not is that a your hip then instead of your waist? Yes, my waist bones. That was a gag. They were just talking about my hip bones. That's generally where I considered, you know. Yeah, there's no bones there, Mark. Well, anyway, let's continue here. Uh, the t- t- sometimes fads come in and out. Some they go out, but just, excuse me, but this one, to me, just seems to be getting worse, Councilwoman Rich, the (laughs) hero, told ABC News. I'm just tired of looking at young men's underwear. It's just disrespectful. Rich. Well, okay, so this is revealing. She feels disrespected Mm. by the clothing that other people wear. Well, duh. I mean, why do you think she's uh, making moves to ban other people's clothing? It's not like it says, you know... I disrespect Edith across the uh, the back of uh, this guy's... Mary Sue. Mary, Mary Sue. Sue. I disrespect Sue. Mary Sue across this guy's butt. It's just the way they choose to wear their pants. Like, she needs some counseling. Mm. Oh, and here's an additional uh, little detail about her. Mary Sue Rich is a retired probation senior supervisor for the Florida Department of Corrections. So it's most likely that she spent her career... Looking at individuals who tend toward this particular uh, clothing persuasion. Oh, and she spent her career telling people, where's your belt? Pull your pants up. Mm. I mean, like, she's a, she's a correctional officer. She can do that and has done it. Well, she was a senior supervisor of the probation department. Fine. I mean, you know, it's all the same stuff. She gets to order people around. She's just mad that she doesn't get to order these kids around. 
She says, well, now she does, you know, apparently. Well, She's here's, successful. Here's what. As far as I'm concerned, this is fine and dandy. Mary Sue should have to pay for every for the lawsuit, the, the, the lawsuit that Ocala is going to incur on this. And if she loses, not only does she have to pay the uh, you know both sides, mm. in my opinion, Mary Sue, not the city of Ocala, but she should also have to do every day in um, jail and pay every fine that anybody had leveled against them. What about the other city councilors who all voted for this? I understand. I'm with you. Unanimous. I think that they should get, uh, she should get 50%. They should each get uh, another 10. Then this would be a wonderful world, Mark, that you're describing. Right. Where- Politicians that are actually responsible for their stinking actions. Yeah, uh, uh, well, uh, it'd be nice if that could happen. I I don't know. Maybe we'll see it happen here in New Hampshire if somebody can somehow get that kind of bill through. It would be difficult, though, because all of the politicians and bureaucrats They don't want to be responsible for their actions. Yeah, they're going to come out and they're going to testify against that. They're going to give all kinds of reasons why they have to have what's called immunity uh, from responsibility. This would stifle irresponsible legislation. (laughs) (laughs) But even if they would just stop, that would be fine. They don't have to If they would stop making new legislation? Yes. They're clearly not going to do that. They have no responsibility for their actions. People who have no responsibility for their it's actions true. are historically very bad at stopping doing their irresponsible stuff. Mm. You know, Johnny Ray, I know you hate the political system, and I find it to be a despicable thing as well, but I see that New Hampshire has the possibility for uh, for, for shoring up against bad laws and stopping them from even coming into play in the first place and repealing existing bad laws. I, I You know, it's possible here to actually write your own proposed legislation and get it to a state representative and at the very least have it introduced, have the discussion had, because every piece of legislation in New Hampshire has to be discussed at a public hearing. So you could at least create the conversation. uh, One of these sorts that doesn't want to see, you know, people work within the legislative system. Is that is that true? That's a that's a powerful statement. We'll go with yes. Okay. Let's come back I, with more. I have a question, and my question hold the, is... Hold, hold the question. Uh, we'll get back to that here. You can uh, query Johnny Ray in moments. And also, you are welcome to join us here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. Your thoughts on the saggy pants ban. It's happening. Voted unanimously. We've got some more info on it coming up here. 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. On the average, Americans work between 45 to 50 years hoping to build up enough wealth to retire and live out their golden years. Unfortunately, with taxation, the rising cost of food, energy, housing, and medical, many retirees are forced to live below the poverty line. Is this a flaw free enterprise, or is our monetary unit we call the Federal Reserve Note forcing us into perpetual debt, ensuring inflation and higher taxes? These questions and more can be answered by reading G. Edward Griffin's book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Congressman Ron Paul states it's what every American needs to know about central bank power. A gripping adventure into the secret world of international banking cartel. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. I will give a silver dollar from the early 1900s to anyone who purchases this book. Call one 800 68 and order a copy today. It's critical that the public be made aware of the system. Call and order your copy today at 1-800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. Listen, you've heard the commercials before. Whether you owe 15000 or $15 million in tax debt to the IRS or state, we can help. On a never-ending payment plan, penalties and interest killing you, 
Missing tax returns? Being garnished or levied? Not a problem. If you qualify, we can remove levies and garnishments within days or even hours of hiring our firm. If you've been summonsed, or even worse, receiving tax warrants in the mail, call right now. Are you a business owner with back payroll taxes? Is the IRS or state threatening to close your business you've worked so hard to build? Protect yourself and your business. Even if you've tried in the past, new guidelines could potentially qualify you today. So what are you waiting for? We can take that tax monkey off your back. Call the Tax Monkey now, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, 800-281-6030, that's 800-281-6030. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.fm. That's LRN.fm. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you're invited to take control of the airwaves here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. More on the saggy pants ban. This isn't proposed. This has been passed unanimously in the city of Ocala. Violators will be facing a possible jail time and a fine of up to $500. It affects all city-owned property, including sidewalks, streets, and parks. And if you are caught with pants two inches below the natural waistline you could uh, be under arrest we'll give you more information about it here in moments toll free number is 855 450 free and skype us at username lrn.fm you know if you need focus and are feeling fatigued and trying to get that extra edge when it counts you should look into modafinil from modup.net studies show one in five students use this cognitive enhancer offering multiple benefits including a double digit increase in short term memory fighting off fatigue and greater focus overall so you can get things done businessmen around the world are talking about modafinil from modup.net and how it's making the difference in their work giving them the critical edge that they need over at modup.net it's affordable for everyone to take advantage of the benefits of modafinil by being 80 to 85 percent lower than the uh, in price than the brand name but don't mistake low prices for inferior quality at modup.net they ensure purity and potency is consistent to that of the branded version. Remember, Free Talk Live is an international radio show, and ModUp.net ships worldwide. It's your responsibility to know if local prescription requirements and laws apply. And ModUp.net does support the Bitcoin community. In fact, you get a 33% discount when you pay with Bitcoin at ModUp.net. And use code FTL if, whether you're paying with Bitcoin or not, uh, with something else, you'll get 10 free tablets with your order with code FTL at modup.net. World-class service at a great price. And don't forget code FTL at modup.net for modafinil. So we're back to it. We're going to get into, dig in further into the story here in a moment about the saggy pants ban. But Mark, you had a question for Johnny Ray because I proposed earlier that the, the Free State Project was a good solution to stopping bad laws like this from happening, this ban on saggy pants, c- trying to control people's dress, mode of dress. And, uh, and, you know, I think that even though the politics system is awful, it actually is workable here in New Hampshire. I, I suspect that's what your question is going to be related to, but go ahead. Yeah, so um, Johnny Ray essentially said that uh, you know his solution to the problem of bad legislation was to not work within the legislative process. Does that sound something like? Am I am I in the ballpark here, Johnny Ray? The problem with bad legislation is to not work within the legislative we process. Ha- you would agree that we have bad legislation here, right? Yes. Okay. And the solution and- is to do something else besides 
running in campaigns for for your favorite guy or running for office yourself or going to vote for people that you think are better than the tyrants or asking the, uh, the the politicians to you know pass a certain law talking to your uh, politicians that kind of thing um, yeah I mean you know it's not like I think that that's the greatest solution in the world I certainly believe that it's an inefficient uh, um, solution but uh, you know I guess I I guess my question would be if this was you if you were walking down the streets of uh, of Ocala and had that the urge to show off your underpants by uh, having your your waist dip somehow more than two inches below the natural waistline, um, the waist of your pants, and you got nabbed for this, potentially jail and a five hundred dollar fine. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, so they tossed your butt in jail over this. Um, let's just say, and you're sitting in there and you think to yourself, well, how am I going to handle this? How are you going to handle that? I'm sitting in a jail cell? Yeah, I mean, at this point, because, you see, the solution you have sounds a lot like, screw them, that's not my problem, to me. I think that the political process is is polluting. Um it's tough to say that about a guy like Mark Warden, who I, who every time his name is mentioned, I talk about what a ray of sunshine he is. He's the Porcupine real estate agent. Yes. And he's also uh, the legislator of the year a couple of, at least one time. Twice. Um, yeah. Twice uh, by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. So, you know, a singular politician. There aren't too many like him. I have a, I have a real dogmatic view of the question and like i say i think that uh, the state is an evil institution and the polling places are component parts of the state and you should stay away from them because of that reason and that reason alone yeah but it doesn't really answer the question what are you going to do if i'm sitting in jail yeah. there's there's I don't know how to answer that question. Well, I guess, um, you know, I mean, what do you want from people? How do you want them to help you solve the problem? Because to me, if you've got bad legislation, there really, there's not much you can do in the short term except try to get rid of the bad legislation. And the way that we do that is the legislative process. If I was nabbed for it and I still had my day in court, oh, my, my day in court was still ahead of me, then I would take that. I would take that opportunity to talk to the judge because I, I think judges really have something going for them and they they can be spoken to um everyone i've ever talked to says hey this isn't the courtroom isn't the place to talk about whether a law is a good law or not yeah. you should talk to your legislator i, I saw it today i saw it today i was at uh the trial for daryl w perry our friday night co-host and i think we're gonna hold off probably on talking that uh, talking about that in detail until fr on Friday when he'll actually be here. Makes sense. But, uh, you know, I was there today, and Judge uh, Ed Burke was uh, sitting in the court as normal at Keene District Court, and, you know, it's it's difficult to bring the Constitution up. The Constitution doesn't apply in the case because, well, the, the, judge, is law. <laughs> the judge is only there to determine whether or not you have violated the ordinance or the, the statute. That's all. If you have a constitutional argument, you can make it in closing, and then, of course, you'll be, you know, it, the Constitution won't factor into what the judge decides, and if you want, you could then appeal to the Supreme Court, and that's at least how it works in New Hampshire. Your mileage may vary locally. But, uh, you know, they're not really interested in hearing any kind of principled arguments. All that judge is going to do is he's going to, you know, take the evidence in from the officer. Officer's going to sit up on the stand. Officer's going to testify. They've worked for the police department for 10 years, and they're law enforcement officer, and they saw you, sir, with your pants hanging down below your waist. In fact, when they saw you, they stopped you, pulled out their ruler. They measured the two inches. It was three inches. You are clearly in violation. All of this is indicated. The officer has testified to it on the stand. Your argument is invalid. It's you clearly violated this uh, this ordinance. Right. Some officious, nosy politicians have uh, written a law, and of course, we all have to obey it. Yeah. Yep. And that you're right. That happens uh, time and time again. And that's what would happen to you if you were. This is for why the I think pansy. I would like to make a distinction between a couple of things. Okay. When you're when you've been nabbed for a crime, a quote unquote crime. Uh, an ordinance a violation, crime, whatever. Or? Okay, so non, not possibly a non-crime. Yes, if I was okay. nabbed by this, for, gotcha. for example, in Ocala? No. Yes, Ocala, Florida. O okay, if I was nabbed for this, then that would be a different situation than me deciding whether or not I'm going out to vote because an agent is has accosted me. 
and I've and and that is a different kind of a thing. Right. So when the law hits the, the the rubber hits the road there. Rather than stopping it before the car gets the, the 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 screaming mad truck of bad legislation gets flying down the highway, you wait until it smacks you into the ditch. So I do <laughs> what I do then because I can't do anything else. Indeed. You know, I, I have to do something. You're forced into the position. Yeah, and my question do. to you is this: If I don't believe in the pl- legislative process, there's probably good reason I don't believe in the judicial process. I can assure you of that. So should I? Then then just say, you know what, um, let's assume you get a jury trial here. Well, I'll just not go to my jury trial. I know Johnny Ray's there, and he's facing uh, charges for some really stupid crap, but I'm eh, just not going to be a juror, or juror yeah, there. That's an get excellent of- question. We've talked with Johnny oh, Ray. Oh, you got to register to vote to be a juror, too. Yeah, well, well driver's license also in New Hampshire. Uh, Johnny Ray, would you just serve depends. on a jury? I want to get an answer from you there. I don't think we've talked about that with Johnny Ray, because we certainly have talked about voting and working inside the system. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hoodia and metabolic complex, and pro-metabolic, all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Imagine for a moment... A radio program, the most personal of mediums that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. 
Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We're here to take your calls about what you want. All you have to do is dial in toll-free and bring up anything, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We've got Skype. Skype on into the show, username lrn.fm. We started out talking about the saggy pants ban. It looks like it's happening. Voted unanimously in the city of Ocala, Florida. We'll continue. There's more detail on that, more, uh, I think, quotes from the woman who sponsored the legislation, but it has also led into a larger conversation about working inside the system or not, as Johnny Ray would have it. He is uh, very anti-working inside the system, and I have to say, there's a warm spot in my heart for that, Johnny Ray. I get it. It's terrible going to the state house, having to sit around and just do a lot of waiting, and then maybe get to testify, feel like you've been ignored, and, you know, do it all over again the next year in the hopes that maybe then whatever it is you're trying to pass, like marijuana decrim, uh, will pass. And you know, in the case of the marijuana thing, medical has passed in New Hampshire. It's the weakest, most pathetic excuse for a medical marijuana program, but it's passed. In what way? Because I don't know it well at all. And it could be improved over time. Uh, it's a step in the right direction. What's in wrong? what way what, is it weak? Yeah, what's wrong with it? So uh, the New Hampshire, and I don't know if it's the weakest. It's just pretty pathetic. Darn weak. It's not as good, nowhere near as good as California, for instance. But there, uh, there's no home grow allowed. There, uh, the home grow was taken out, meaning that the patients in a lot of places like California can grow their own cannabis. Not in New Hampshire. That was removed because the governor said she would not sign the legislation unless that provision was removed. That's probably one of the biggies. The other is uh, there's only four dispensaries that I think are going to be some kind of, I don't know if it's the state that's going to operate them or the state's just going to put their seal of approval on them, but they're limiting the number of dispensaries. In a lot of places, there's not a limit uh, to the number of dispensaries. So those are a couple things. There, another one is the list of covered issues that one could be prescribed marijuana for some would argue it's uh it's kind of on the conservative side others would say that maybe there's a loophole in there so that one's yet to really be seen as to how it's going to actually play out it's slow in implementation uh the the cards aren't available yet this you know the, it's been 18 months it's been a year and a half yeah at this point and uh it's bad i mean it's not it's not the best but it's still a step in the right direction and that step would not have happened if it hadn't been for all the efforts of these folks, good people who went down, many of them, some of them crippled. Uh, there's one guy who's like completely paralyzed in a in a chair. In fact, he's so bad off now he can't come down to uh, the state house. But he came down for like ten years to testify from his chair device, uh, body moving. It's not really a wheelchair because he can't move himself. You know, he's got to move it with. I don't know if it's his tongue or whatever he does, but he's pretty paralyzed. Anyway. You know, really persuasive people like that coming down and finally convincing these politicians after a decade to do something that was semi the right thing. It's frustrating as hell. There's no doubt about it. I mean, this guy's going to die very soon. And it's a surprise that he didn't die before the medical marijuana program. I mean, he may even die before it's implemented uh, at this point. But nonetheless, he took the time. He he put it in and there were results I mean, that could result, Johnny Ray, in people who are crippled or sick uh, not being arrested in the future. Isn't that worth the effort? Even though it was a tremendous level of effort, isn't it worth it? You're assuming that it happened only because of the efforts of these people who came to the Capitol and testified and so forth and so on. Well, it also happened thanks to the efforts of the state representatives who proposed it and also argued for it and testified in, in favor of it as oh, well. It would seem inarguable that it happened when it happened due to the efforts of those people. I do think that uh, politics tends to trail, be a sort of a trailing indicator of sort of the, the, the public zeitgeist. 
Yes, I think that it happened in large measure because the the prevailing opinion on the subject is that marijuana should be legal. Everybody knows that. We've known it for a long time. And they finally kind of got with the times. And I think all you need to do is change the culture. But they didn't do it on their own volition. And I agree with you that the culture does need to change and that politics follows behind it by, in some cases, decades. That's all true. But if nobody put it forward, if nobody, you know, if everybody just sat back and, you know, did the, took the Johnny Ray approach and did nothing, then it never would have been brought forth. No one ever would have proposed well, it. If I everybody would have sat back it. and did the Johnny Ray approach, they would be desperate for attention and they would do things that they thought we wanted. Yeah, you really and, did fall into this trap, by the way. Trap? You said if everybody did. And the fact is, everybody is that isn't everyone going would to do something. But everybody's not going to do anything. Right. I didn't mean to suggest everybody actually would do something. I understand. Um, you know, so that's the one thing that the people who want to ignore the political system have is is the well, if everybody did such and they such. They won't, though, yeah. Right. But they won't. And so let's stop talking about fantasy worlds where people the fact is that people that disagree with you, Johnny Ray, are are going to go to the Capitol, and they're going to pay off politicians, they're going to buy lobbyists, they're going to threaten, they're going to cajole, they're going to get pictures of mistresses, they're going to they're going to do whatever it takes. The cops are going to go to keep Prohibition around. Right, you they're can damn well count on unions, that. Unions, they're going to extract money. <laughs> the, 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 state, the, the state and the status are pragmatic. I'm going to go back to that Dan Sanchez article. There's always going to be statists who, if they witness... A libertarian culture in their country, they're going to make, they're going to effect libertarian policies in their governments, whether they are really truly on board with it or not. You don't need real libertarians Just to you, soil themselves. What, what, you, what you need to do is have real libertarians talk to those real politicians. That happens in New Hampshire. Here, there are stories. You can talk to people who will tell you that they started talking to representatives such and such in 2004 when they moved here. And then in 2008, they changed. They helped representatives such and such change their mind on the marijuana issue. And I'm just talk, picking this one issue. But there are examples of people, Dennis Goddard will call in and he'll tell you about how this has happened, where people have created a relationship. People who are liberty-minded activists have created relationships with some of these state representatives and found the friendlier ones and you know even changed the minds of some who weren't on board with this, these ideas. It wasn't like a bunch of new people got elected, although that does happen a lot here in New Hampshire because you don't get paid more than 100 bucks a year generally to uh, be a state representative. But the, my point being that it was the efforts of these people directly in the state house and just around the state house, just talking to these folks outside of the state house, you know, uh, the, the the meeting room outside of the meeting room in the hallway, having discussions with these people, seeing them on the streets, talking to them there, going out to lunch with them. I mean, these are, this is networking, and it works here in New Hampshire. It doesn't work in a, in a lot of other places. You can't talk to state reps in you know New York State or California or Florida. Uh, but here forty nine states in the union uh, have a lawyer industrial complex yeah. occupying their state house. I realize I'm, I'm all for I'm all for t go ahead, Mark. Sorry. One state doesn't go ahead. I'm all for talking to people, any people. Okay, uh, but you just you don't have to talk to them on you know uh, on on government property. Not that's that, true, but aren't you essentially doing the same thing if you see them at a party and you hit them up with some new ideas? Hold that thought. Let's go to Glenn in Philly. You're on Free Talk Live, Glenn. And I realize I still have to get to the jury duty question because we didn't get to that. Glenn, are you with us in Philly? Yes, I am here. Can hey, you hear me? Yeah, we got you now. Go ahead, sir. Okay, uh, infrequent. Listener, first-time caller. Welcome. Um, boy, it's it's just so refreshing in a world of seven billion people, where 150,000 people die every day, and we have wars raging, and diseases and plagues, and all kinds of other you know, really scary, important things going on. I hear you guys stepping up to defend the rights of immature, narcissistic, underachieving, defiant, attention, you know, slackers who live in mommy and daddy's basement and don't really do anything productive. Are you and referring to, like to saggy pants wearers, sir? With their, with their pants. Hmm? I, I was just just trying with to their, clarify their that you were talking down. about saggy pants people. Yes, yes, immature, underachieving, defiant, narcissistic So are you saying you think they should be put in jail? Do you think people should be put in jail I, for wearing saggy pants? I think they, no, I think they should have had their butt smacked when they were 
when they were younger and, and you know learned how to be you know mature. Right, but now they are wearing saggy pants. Different. So what do you do about it, Glenn? Hang on, we'll bring you back if you have more Grumpy comments. Grumpy old forty-year-old said the same thing about Glenn's style when he was in a teenager. <laughs> we're coming up here on Free Talk Live. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones ads. This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crash is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. I didn't believe it. Neither did I. No way could you professionally remove unwanted hair, pain-free, and at home. My thoughts exactly. Remove my face and body hair without expensive, painful office visits. Not possible. Great minds think alike. Until I tried No-No Pro. Mm Mm-hmm. Wait, you tried No-No? Yes, and it works. I use it on my face, legs, bikini line. We're BFFs, and you didn't tell me about No-No? Here, this is my new No-No Pro. The most powerful No-No made. Custom treatment levels, less hair in less time, perfect for any skin type. Try it. No hair, no pain, no time consuming expensive office visits no no and no no for a limited time you can try no no pro risk-free you'll also get the facial kit and a travel case get weeks of long-lasting results that's it i'm getting a no no great minds do think alike (laughs) (laughs) try no no pro risk-free by calling 800-952-5760 800 952 5760 that's 800 952 5760 800 952 5760 Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more. Or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. Freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up whatever you want by dialing toll-free to 855-450-FREE. That's 
888-900-3733 with you tonight. It's Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Hey, don't forget you can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com, get interactive there, and enjoy it for free. Survival Training School of California. Now, um, if you like the outdoors, if you think you've got what it takes, this is the survival training school to go to because there's no... Uh, you know, accreditation when it comes to survival schools. It's really just based on, you know, how good the information is that they, they give you. And the Survival Training School of California is fully insured from the American Safety and Health Institute Certified Training Center for Emergency Wilderness Medicine. Train, they've trained three branches of U.S. military, including the United States uh, Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center. Um, now, consider that for a second. The United States Marine Corps Mountain Warfare uh, Training Center thought that the Survival Training School of California was worth sending their uh, Marines to. Maybe it's good enough for you. Uh, they trained the California Department of Justice. Um, they've got year-round all-weather uh, field training. Actually, they're one of only a small handful of schools to offer pocket knife-only field courses. And many times, the people who need survival training are ones that are just day hikers, people that are really just out with a pocket knife. Um, also, they have courses on how to live entirely off the land, including in Alaska. Um, they're the only school that offers... Uh, the Alaskan training in the winter. Um, students have uh, come from as far as the Netherlands, Canada, Spain, China, South Africa. They've got students that have uh, fl flown over 3,000 mi miles for a single weekend of training with them. Uh, their instructor, Thomas Coyne, is a, um, it has just an in incredible list of uh, accreditation. So please, if you're interested in getting some survival training, um, they, by the way, they have a uh, August 10th uh, class in Alaska on how to build a log cabin from scratch. Um, it's Survival Training School of California. The website? Well, you know, the sheet that I've got right here, um, for whatever reason, I had printed it up, and it doesn't have the website, and I'm going to have to give it to you in a, in a second, because I, it's really tricky. There is a um, there's a site out there that, uh, that kind of mimics them, so I had the mm -hmm. website and the telephone number on the sheet, but this uh, this is the old sheet that doesn't have it. I'm I really sorry. I think you had said it was CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com, but I, don't, I hope that's not the mimic. Um, I thought that's what you said last night. Mark. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to type it in, and it's all I've got here. My computer's being a little laggy. All right, then. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I was just going to say that's survival it's, training. Yeah, CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. So, terribly sorry. Yeah, CaliforniaSurvivalTraining.com. What'd you write there? Write it on that's there That's right what, now. well, I had printed out another sheet. <laughs> so, write it on there now. Let's continue here. Glenn is in Philly. You're on Free Talk Live. It's okay. We're just doing our business on the air here on uh, Free Talk Live. What's uh, So, Glenn, you're upset. You think we should be talking about more important matters yeah. than <laughs> saggy pants bands. So, go ahead. No, this is your no, chance. What do you got? I, I just, well, first of all, I wonder how many attendees of the survival school, when you meet up in the original group, have their pants hanging down their butts. Probably not very many at all. Um, Probably not very many because they these are productive people with some discipline. And first of all, if you want to be, if you actually active in the physical world, bending, stooping, lifting, organizing, or you know, putting boxes on shelves or helping someone, point. you know, doing something, it, it's hard to work with your pants hanging down your butt. Even plumbers who are known for that, you know, plumber smile, you know, pull <laughs> them up because they've only they've only fell down by accident. Okay, and they're fat and out of shape. And, you know, that's a, Glenn, that I'm not here to defend right. the clothing style of the people who choose to wear saggy pants. I'm only defending their right to do it. I don't happen to agree with it. I've, I've seen video of people trying to run with saggy pants, and uh, that's a really bad idea. It doesn't tend to work out very well. Yeah. Uh, it, so, it, yeah. Right. It, well, and, you know, my problem is, like, oh, getting out to defend the rights of, of a pathological, narcissistic you know, immature, defiant attention. Oh, for God's sake, behavior. you don't know a single one of these people, and you keep on rattling off this pathological, narcissistic thing. Look, yes, I think it's as dumb as you do. Immature, immature. Well, you don't, I mean, there's a chance yeah. that these people are just, you know, they're not all immature, right? Like some well, of them maybe might... they are immature, but so what? You were immature once, too. You know how you got mature, Glenn? No. You had to live through immaturity. No, no, I'm talking about, we're talking about late teens, early 20s, 
you know, um, slackers, parasites who, who not how many, not, not a one of them has a, you know, they don't go in punching on their responsible job, you know, where they're pulling their weight and making a contribution to society and then punch out of work and then go out. And I don't know if that's cooler. true. I mean, I think that that's a, that's a convenient oh, yeah. stereotype. Yeah, we'll have to see a survey. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, the stereotypes are stereotypes because they have a large component of truth in many cases. And, well, that and may be true, but it certainly doesn't necessarily that. mean that everyone who wears yeah. saggy pants uh, well, doesn't have a job, nor does... We mean, we, we're going to have, we're going to have, you know, a MERS epidemic. Like, why don't you guys find something to, a to, MERS so important to talk about? Of, All right, Glenn, yeah, this is what I tried to give you the opportunity It's called Free Talk Live, Glenn. You said you were an uh, occasional listener of the show. You know what it's about. Call in and talk about what you want to talk about, This is sir. your chance, Glenn. So far, all you've done is insult people in their clothing styles. Well, you know, I, I, one reason I'm an infrequent listener, I hear you guys defending the rights of people that, that, to, to, to be selfish jerks. So, wow, so we shouldn't right defend right. other people's rights if we don't like the way they dress? Yeah, you, you defend all this peripheral, narcissistic, immature, selfish behavior. We love to defend the rights of selfish you know what people. you know who needs to, the people who need defending glenn and thank you for the call tonight i've had enough yeah the people who but, need defending the, the rights that need their rights defended are people that other people don't like right yeah, the people that are marginalized it's the unpopular <laughs> popular folks. people don't need their rights defended glenn yeah. <laughs> it's the unpopular people the people who say things that are despicable in some cases the people who look very funny in some ways who uh, maybe have attitudes that are unfriendly I don't nec- I'm not saying I want to hang out with these people, but they should be free to live how they want as long as they're not harming anyone else. And I'm sorry, uh, but wearing saggy pants doesn't harm anyone. Mary Sue Rich, the city councilor in Ocala, she's the driving force behind what the saggy pants ask, ban. Is is that that Mary Rich, who I would call a selfish, narcissistic, immature, yeah. uh, blah blah blah, uh, that she's the fact the that she's using yeah. taxpayers' money to waste people's time on legislation like this, whether he supported that, I'll bet you that Glenn would say no. I'll bet mm-hmm. you because he's, you know, I mean, he he has that sound. If I had to, if I had to make a guess, you got rid of him. I like to keep these guys on. Um, uh, well, Mark, we kept him on for uh, quite a while actually, and he just kept shouting so. Indeed. Time's up. Um, oftentimes, these people are like, well, this shouldn't, obviously, the politicians shouldn't have done that. But look, who are the villains here? Let's really, for a second here, who are the villains? The people who are, you know, underemployed and choose and think that it's a better idea to wear their pants low than to, uh, to, to be productive? Are they the villains? Or are the politicians that want to go after people, that want to want to waste my money, uh, you know, sending cops, hiring more cops to go chasing after people whose pants aren't high enough? I mean, well, as far as I'm concerned, as as, innocent that's until the proven villain. guilty. Uh, and just because somebody's wearing saggy pants doesn't mean that they're a criminal, doesn't mean that they're dangerous or hurt, have hurt anybody. It's just a silly clothing style. Now, there's an argument to be made that, you know, it could be more likely that a person who wears the sort of clothing might be more likely to be involved in criminal activity. But that's only if likely you include drugs as part of the criminal activity. If you take the drug war out, then maybe most of them probably aren't violent at all in any way, shape or form. Uh, But you're welcome to share your thoughts and experience here. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And I would like to add that there there's no villain until there's a there's an act until somebody has been has been caught and and like the politicians. I mean, those guys are actual villains. Like they really are doing bad things day in and day out, passing laws to destroy people's lives. Like these folks. Well, I was going to say that all they've done is pass a law and it doesn't become a crime until somebody gets their hands laid on them and a cop is dragging somebody away still though it's the politicians the who are responsible for that they 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 played their part but they didn't put lay their hands on someone else that's true they have their henchmen doing it and they have their dirt you know the henchmen are doing the dirty work for them you know if you hire somebody to put, uh, put a hit out or if you put a hit out on somebody if you put a hit out on mark you're just as guilty as the person who uh, executes the hit i'm not convinced of that you don't think so? No, that's kind of a struggle that I've had. For, I've never had it conclusively proven to my satisfaction that if you contract with somebody to kill them, then you are a villain. Wow. I don't know what I could say to convince you of that, Johnny Ray. What is it that makes you think you would not be a villain just a, uh, for just doing that? The, the, there's a phrase that I don't know where it came from that I've kept with me, and it goes like this. First is the deed. And before the deed happens, 
nothing of importance has happened. The deed is the only thing that counts for anything. But isn't paying someone to kill somebody a deed also? It's putting money in somebody else's hand. If they paid them and then the guy didn't kill the person. So the politicians are irrelevant. It's the uh, the cops on the street and the soldiers in uniform. It's the privates and... Uh, Johnny Ray, I'm disturbed by this. Cops. We're going to come back with more. 855-450-FREE. You can share your thoughts as well. Coming up, Hour 2, Free Talk Live. When leading hardwood mills have excess flooring to sell, there's only one place they go. Lumber Liquidators, America's number one specialty retailer of wood flooring. This week, get amazing deals like gorgeous three-quarter inch, solid, pre-finished Brazilian cherry hardwood for only $2.99 per square foot. Or quick-click strand bamboo for 37% less than other stores. Plus, get first quality laminate flooring for $0.49. Cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find your local store. Special 12-month financing is available. Hurry, these deals end Tuesday. Hi, everyone. Everyone, I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn, and you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, now well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, July 29th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,306. Silver opened at $20.62, and Bitcoin is trading around $582.26. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from GrowYourOwnGroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at GrowYourOwnGroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Technology, announcing the newly released Antminer S3, 440 giga hash at only 366 watts. Buy yours today, bitmaintech.com, or call them up at 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, a report released Monday by the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan found that nearly 750,000 weapons handed over by U.S. forces to Afghan soldiers were poorly managed, with many falling into the hands of terrorists. The Los Angeles Times reports that due to a lack of good record-keeping, the $625 million worth of small arms and artillery given to the country were insufficiently recorded, leaving thousands of weapons vulnerable to theft. The report also notes that the 747,000 weapons provided to Afghan forces exceeds their armament needs by at least 112,000. Thousands of protesters gathered in New York on Friday in support of more than 880 Palestinians killed in Israel's Gaza offensive with over 200 of the victims being children. Reuters reports that around 3,000 demonstrators gathered around Times Square, waving Palestinian flags and signs condemning Israel and criticizing U.S. aid to the Jewish state. The protest drew supporters from areas far outside of New York City, including Connecticut and other nearby states. Monday in the U.S. House of Representatives, a three-page bill was introduced that would amend the Controlled Substances Act, the federal law that criminalizes marijuana, to exempt plants with an extremely low percentage of THC. Now, if passed, it would be the first time a federal law allowed any medical marijuana use. Just this year alone, 
11 states have passed legislation loosening the regulation on particular strains of cannabis. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from Affordable Sound, CD and DVD duplication, along with posters and promotions materials. Mention promo code LIBERTY, and when you order 10 or more posters, you get 10 free. Find them online, affordablesound.com, or call them up at 512-459-5253. This is the Liberty Beat for Tuesday, July 29th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. Farmers in Brazil are asking four major GMO seed manufacturers, including Monsanto and DuPont, to reimburse them for costs related to an increase in pesticide use, according to a report by Reuters. A farm group said Monday that GMO BT corn seeds are no longer protecting crops from tropical bugs, forcing farmers to use more pesticides. According to a new joint report from the American Civil Liberties Union and Human Rights Watch, government surveillance is making the work of lawyers and journalists increasingly difficult while damaging democracy. The 120-page report details the steps lawyers and journalists are adopting to keep their sources and communications secure from surveillance. Journalists interviewed for the report listed several strategies used to protect their information. They include using burner throwaway phones, encryption, and avoiding electronic communications altogether. Now, lawyers say the surveillance makes it difficult to build trust with their clients and protect their legal strategies. The advocacy groups interviewed journalists from the New York Times, the Associated Press, ABC, and NPR. Architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth are extending a 9-11 debate challenge to credentialed building professionals regarding the collapse of World Trade Center 7. AE 9-11 Truth is offering a chance for professionals to argue in defense of the final report on the collapse of the World Trade Center Building 7, published in November 2008 by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. If a licensed high-rise architect and a licensed structural engineer or an active full professor of either discipline is able to successfully convince a university audience to agree with the findings, a charity of their choice will receive $1,000. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show, live Friday nights, 9 o'clock Central, CoreyMooreShow.com. And support comes from Roberts & Roberts Brokerage Inc., precious metals at reasonable rates since 1977 online rrbi.co this is the liberty beat for tuesday july 29th 2014 i'm brian hagan reporting reminding you spread liberty with a smile from the admission of ant colony 00000 82567 kln 00067x into the union in 1897 to the day in 1817 when embarrassed construction workers realized they put the Erie Canal in the wrong place the onion looks back at this week in history on August 5, 1962, Nelson Mandela was jailed until 1990, becoming fully rehabilitated through the South African penal system. And thanks to the services provided to him while imprisoned, emerged from jail a successful politician and internationally revered symbol of peace. Mandela's record of overcoming hardships and moving South Africa beyond its formidable racial struggles is a lasting testament to South Africa's correctional facilities and prove that the penal system's small cells, demeaning work duties, and minimal rations are exactly the tools needed for a prisoner to truly become a reformed citizen. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you'd like. Toll free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features on the website there, freetalklive.com. With you tonight, Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. So we were talking about uh, jury nullification, actually, really briefly. I want to get back onto that subject, and then we can talk more about the uh, saggy pants uh, ban that has gone into effect in Ocala. Why aren't but, you talking about important things that are going on in this world? There's people dying in Ukraine, people dying in, in uh, Palestine. W why are we talking about uh, unimportant things like saggy pants bans? You know what? That's an excellent question. That was a call from uh, Glenn there toward the end of the last hour. Um, and it was interesting when Glenn was critiquing us for talking about something he didn't like that he didn't take the opportunity, which I gave him, because when we brought him back on after the break, we had him on before one of the breaks, we brought him back on, 
And I said, Glenn, this is your chance. So you didn't like what we were talking about before. This is Free Talk Live. What do you want to talk about? And then he just kept complaining about the saggy pants ban. Right. So, so in fact, what Glenn wanted to do was talk about the saggy pants ban. And, and it insult was, people who wear saggy and pants. And that's fine. I don't care. Everybody's got their opinion. He can do that. I sure. think it's insult worthy. Um, but then again, I can tell you that... Uh, you know, people had lots of older people had lots of things to say about my style of dress and and garb when I was young. And I have had a job from the time I was 12. Um, you know, there's some specific things you can say about saggy pants bands, but whatever. Old people have been complaining about the way young people dress as long as there have been old and young people. Yep. Saggy pants. There's uh, some people have really taken it to an art. Uh, I think <laughs> that I witnessed the the birth of it. And it just started out as a thing where your pants were kind of saggy, and then they were a little more saggy and a lot more saggy. And now, you know, you see people who take a, a great deal of pride in having bright white cotton underwear that's kind of fluffed out just just the right amount. And, uh, you know, they it it's not just a careless sort of a thing. It is narcissistic. It's bloused, and the, their underwear is uh, out so perfectly it's sort of bloused in a way. That perfect word mark it is bloused you know uh, i think that it, it came from um uh, communities where they just you know hand-me-downs were uh, the norm and you know people were wearing big pants because that's the pants that they had available to them i've heard lots of other uh, stories of uh, and best i can tell most of them are sort of apocryphal as opposed to uh, actual facts but yeah you know and then what for whatever reason the style stuck i, I don't know it doesn't do anything for me uh, no, nor me. I've never tried it. So I had asked a question, uh, or I didn't get to actually ask the question. I'd wanted to. I teased it, and we never actually got around to it in the last hour. Because the conversation about the saggy pants ban went around into a larger discussion about how to change things in society. And you're an advocate, Johnny Ray, of not doing anything within the system that you can avoid. Uh, if, you'll, if you're forced into it by, say, getting a ticket from a police officer, you might go to trial. You might actually kind of work as much in the system as you can in that instance. Uh, just because you feel like you've been forced into a position. But uh, that led me to another question about jury nullification. And actually, it was Mark who I think suggested this. But the question I had was, would you participate? As somebody who seems to be principled in a way against participating at, say, uh, going to a city council meeting and speaking, running for political office, even voting for people running for political office. These are all things you've spurned verbally on the air. You've shown non-interest and even uh, some you know, vehemence against these things. Uh, going out and lobbying politicians, going to the state house, testifying, all of these things you're not willing to do. What about going— It only and, encourages them. What about if you get called to jury duty, what would you do then? I would go. I would go because I think— Speaking out of out of naivety, that I could enjoy it. I could go in, and it's much more personal. It's uh, man to man, and that's also why I do what I do in courtrooms. Ask what I consider to be telling questions of the judge, fundamental questions. Well, how does he get paid, uh, sir? On March tenth, did you witness me? harming anyone or their property so on and so forth and i'm actually talking to a person and it's it's real i have to be there i wouldn't choose to be there but i have to be there and i do it that way but voting is you getting in a line and going and dipping your finger in the ink and observing all the forms and isn't participating in a jury voting yes but your excuse is that it's personal so you're okay with it and I might get some personal enjoyment out of it. So uh, I have a selfish reason for wanting to do jury duty. Certainly. But um, I might get disabused of that notion uh, the first time. And then following times, would I go if I thought that I could help set uh, one person free? Maybe. Okay. So that gives me some hope, Johnny Ray. If you feel like you could set somebody free. Then I but, might come to your trial. If I was on a jury and I might try to get you free, if I felt like it, right? Like I've got things to do. I'm a busy man. I got pigs to feed. I've got commercials to write for people. I've got telephone calls to make. I might come. See, this is the thing is I just can't get excited about people that have this feeling about the political system. The political system is a wretched, evil 
a machine that wishes to grind people in its jaws. It does. And when somebody has an opportunity to step up and pull somebody else out of those jaws, I think they ought to take it. I'm not saying it's the moral thing to do, because I don't think you can claim that a, uh, a person in a coma is uh, somehow acting immorally. But I really do have to say that I, I think it's the right thing to do is to step up and attempt to pull your brethren out of the, 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 the clashing jaws. I'm going to hesitantly agree with you. I think that it's likely that I would at any time go and be a part of a jury just because I would feel definitely like I had some real agency there. You felt you'd feel like your vote made a difference? Yes. So what if it turned out, let's just say that, that somebody's running for governor. And this person like, running for governor, like Ian, our co-host, would, would actually uh, pardon all non-violent drug offenders upon election to office. One of the first acts on the first day of taking office is to pardon all non-violent offenders, and probably not very many acts after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what you're suggesting would happen there, Mark. But uh, regardless, if you knew that that was absolutely a sure thing that that was going to happen, like you could actually believe this politician that they were going to really do it. Would um, and it turned out that that politician had lost by one vote. Would you feel bad about it? No, because <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Because if if that was the case, then that's the way it went down, and that means that there is some kind of culture there that will produce the same result again, and it'll happen without my participation. I see. But you could have gotten people well, out of prison, is, you know, a year on. too early. The, the, okay, um, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Ross Perot ran for president in what was it, 1996 or four? 92. Or two. Um, he he got some large percentage of the vote, yeah. and in fact had this crazy campaign where he dropped out because of ninjas and mm -hmm. then came back. So I mean, you know, anybody who voted for him is suspect as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but this was the this was the momentum of uh, the independent vote that was out there anderson ran i think it was in 84 um you know i mean there was there were these independent candidates out there independent candidates haven't gotten votes like that in a decade and a half where's this idea that somehow i mean there are moments in time that it is ripe to strike and after that that all the wind goes out of the sails and i disagree that just because you had this liberty oriented candidate that might have gotten into governorship in one election that two years later, somehow that candidate's just a shoe in Ross Perot is not an example of, of a, of, he he's is not, not a product of a culture that he, he's not the result I want. He's not a um, liberty oriented candidate. He is, however, an independent candidate. And one could claim that because an independent candidate did well in 1992, that therefore in 1996, an independent candidate should have done even better. And then by 2000, we should have had an independent candidate in office. Well, like, there's an indication of momentum. Independent candidate, I don't think that's relevant. Independent versus Republican versus Democrat, that's, that's all just, that's all dross. It doesn't mean anything. Um, I don't think the point is relevant. I think that, I think a libertarian culture versus a authoritarian culture is a is a much bigger difference in, a, in that, and it means more. Let's come back with more. You can share your thoughts with us. 855-450-FREE. Is Johnny Ray on the right track here? Or is he delusional? 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. Share your thoughts on Free Talk Live. We're coming up. Crashed. The Death of the Dollar. It's a hot new novel that has a lot of people talking. It explores what our government's reaction to a U.S. currency collapse would be. And when the government nationalizes all supply chains in an effort to keep order, the sentiment voiced towards such a tyranny is, we're not picking the fight. The government already did that. We'll just be fighting back for a change. This is a great book, but don't take my word for it. Look at the reviews on Amazon. Bernie says, Crashed is a really terrifying trip. It is thought-provoking. It makes you wonder, what if? Could this happen? Gary Jones Ads. This is an excellent book. It is also a little scary because it could very well be true. I hope it's fiction, and Julia Moffat calls it a gripping read and the most exciting and insightful book this year. Crashed is a fast-paced read that has two-thirds of its Amazon reviewers calling for a sequel. This book is totally worth your time. It's well-researched, liberty-oriented, realistic, gripping, and gritty. Do yourself a favor and don't miss this one. Get your copy at Amazon. Crashed, The Death of the Dollar by William Cooper. 
Again, the Congressional Budget Office sounds the alarm, this time warns of Greek-style U.S. debt crises. You heard me right. The GAO is drawing a parallel between the U.S. economy, its debt, and the current Greek economic meltdown. With the debt-to-GDP chart climbing into unfamiliar territory, the growing budget deficit will rise to unsupportable levels. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. The Federal Debt and Risk of Financial Crises document the CBO has published is a must-read for every American. Covering the risk of continued deficit spending coupled with an aging population and the rising interest rates spell economic disaster. It's imperative that you get a copy of this document and study it for yourself. Call me today at 800-686-2237 and I'll send you a free copy. Again, call 800-686-2237 and ask for your copy of the CBO document. Once again, you need to read this government report. Call 800-686-2237. Moms of America, stand up and stop taking abuse from your kids. I pledge never to let my kid disrespect me ever again. I pledge to stop letting my daughter walk all over me. I pledge to stop living in fear of my son's anger. I pledge never to feel like a bad parent ever again. Because I'm not. I pledge to stop letting my child's behavior control my home. I pledge to be a mom with kids who listen. A total transformation mom. I'm Janet Lehman, co-creator of the Total Transformation Program. We created the Total Transformation to help parents with difficult child behavior. Now I'm giving it away free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Call now. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. You're listening to Free Talk Live. Call in toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-FREE. This is Free Talk Live. You can bring up anything toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Drop by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features waiting for you on the site. Again, that's freetalklive.com. And ExpressCoin, that's the best choice for buying Bitcoins, Dogecoin, now Litecoin, Blackcoin, and Darkcoin, all available through expresscoin.com. They really care about customer service. They want to make sure you get taken care of, and they've got multiple options to meet your needs, like money order, check, wire transfer, and even cash deposits into uh, the, the the bank accounts that have what's called shared branching. This is one of those community bank uh, things. What are they called? The service credit unions? unions? Credit unions. Okay. Credit unions. So, yeah, you go to the credit union that has shared branching, deposit cash in the account information they give you, and usually in about a business day, you'll get your bitcoins or those other coins from expresscoin.com. Go and check it out and grab their app while you're at their website, expresscoin.com. As we continue here, uh, we've been talking about various different sort of tangents that have all come from this discussion that we started the show out, where we haven't even finished the story from ABC News about the uh, the Florida City Council in Ocala that has voted unanimously to ban saggy pants from their city. Possible jail time, fine of up to five hundred dollars if you get caught with pants below two inches below your uh, your waistline. 
So that's kind of the uh, the subject at hand, but it's lo- led into a larger discussion about working within the system. How do you change things like this, Johnny Ray? I I think you know I share Mark's uh, critique earlier, where it sounds like you just don't care about these people. Like you know you you just feel like oh well yeah if people want things to change eventually they'll change the politicians will catch up with it forty years later and you know then the law will change and you just you just kind of hands off you don't want to do anything to help these folks out or do you how would you like the question Mark asked earlier was what would you do if you were caught for the saggy band uh, pants ban. But another question I have is, would you do anything for these people today, even though you aren't a saggy pants wearer? I will tell the radio audience Mm -hmm. that it's a crime to lay your hands on somebody and drag them off and throw them into a jail for wearing their pants a certain way. Okay. I'll do that. Uh, what else will I do for the for the unfortunate teens of Ocala, Florida? I don't think I'm going to do anything else besides that. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't blame you. I mean, you can only put your time into so much, and uh, you know, some people clothing freedom is going to be their issue that they want to put time and effort into. I just feel like it seems almost callous when you say that uh, if you could have been the one vote that decided whether or not. Hundreds of people are released from prison cells uh, in here in New Hampshire that you wouldn't have cast that vote. That you wouldn't feel bad. You asked, yeah, you asked me if I would feel regret about it. Uh, I I don't remember if I answered it. The answer is no. <laughs> it was what you said. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I guess because the reason is that the likelihood of me influencing that was so was was basically zero you couldn't have predicted that it would have been a one vote election that's certainly true not at all and so that in advance yeah so for me to to uh to have not participated and then for you to excoriate me for not feeling the proper level of regret (laughs) is ridiculous fair Uh, enough uh, and again a jury is different that is truly defensive voting Mm -hmm. and and when there's there's a man there and you're one of nine people or something, then I wouldn't feel silly participating. Hmm. I wouldn't feel as stupid and ridiculous as I would if I went to the polling place to vote for president of the United States. So this is an argument, uh, the, the mathematic argument against voting. Now, I can find this. That's part of it. No, the, the fundamental argument is that you shouldn't encourage them. Okay, so um, here's what my question is, is, is that... Are they encouraged when they have liberty-oriented candidates who are running against them and those liberty-oriented candidates win? Like, you know— That's pretty discouraging. That's right. Statists is who you're talking about encouraging, and statists are not encouraged when they lose. There will be statists who will pragmatically— there. You don't need libertarians to participate. There will be people who, who politicians of all stripes, who lick their thumb and stick it up in the air, mm-hmm. and they'll do what the rest of the— uh, they'll do what they see the, the culture doing, even if they're behind. And well, New that's Ham- not true, because, look, the Ron Paul campaign ran in 2008, and the politicians—Ron Paul said, the politicians asked him all the time, how do you do it? How do you get these wild maniacs out there after you? Well, he said, you know, I just support uh, personal liberty, and I'm against the Fed, and well, you know, all the things that he's he's at. Where are the politicians that did that in the national government? Are they elected? No, they're not, because that system doesn't work. These politicians know that they don't really care about votes because I'm sorry, they know. Could you repeat that point for me? Sure. Ron Paul got, uh, you know, lots of politicians. He's he told in interviews. Ron Paul said that many politicians in Washington D.C., the current disgusting s heads, the current that uh, the hold the office, are asking him questions like, "How do you do it, Ron? How did you get people to be so rabidly in favor of you?" And Ron Paul doesn't know. He just continued to be a principled, liberty-oriented candidate, and then enough liberty-oriented people got behind him and shoved him forward. The guy didn't run to the front of the pack. He Hang was on jammed to the front of a pack. Wasn't it Ron Paul's campaign that kind of brought you on board, Johnny Ray? Not to the philosophy of it. Oh, really? Yeah. What it, did he bring you on board with then? His, Free State Project? His performance in New Hampshire convinced me. His what I consider to be poor showing in the Republican primaries of 2008 convinced me that I needed to come up and, and be a part of mm. of the Free State Project because I because I f- 
I thought that he would do much better. Does it feel ironic to be sitting here um, now because of a politician? While arguing against the political process? Yeah, it does. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I found, find almost no fault with Ron Paul except for the statements that, uh, that you called him out on on this show regarding immigration. I don't mm-hmm. know if he's changed his views about that. He believes there should be a United States. And I disagree. Yeah. And so as, perfect. as part of the if there's going to be United States, there has to be a border and certain things follow from that. So uh, we can come back to hiring a hitman here in a little bit because I thought that was an interesting conversation that we kind of just barely touched on. But let's go to Nathan. He is on Skype in Texas. Go ahead, Nathan. Hey, everyone. Hey. Well, that's actually what I wanted to talk about, but I was I was wondering if for uh, the radio audience we could maybe dial it down to something less uh, um, of less import, maybe perhaps uh, – uh, I don't know, like maybe aching someone's house, because I think I think Johnny Ray has hit on a distinction which uh, which is important, which is this: uh, what are the limits of how how much responsibility you can attribute to someone who's acting on behalf of someone else? So, um, if you, I think you have to allow for what what I call the interposition principle, where if you interpose or put yourself between uh, an actor and the result, you you diminish the the causality of the first person or the first actor. Do, do you agree with that? Uh, sounds Can sensible. You say that is, again? That, is that the person who's committing the deed? Is that the interpositor? Stand by. I want you to re explain uh, that here in a moment, Nathan. We're going to come back to you here. The toll free number is 855 450 free. I have to admit, I was in the middle of some technical difficulties there. I didn't really follow what he was saying. We'll come back with more here in moments. 855 450 free. And I think our streams are working again at freetalklive.com. There's more coming, coming up in moments. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV From that romantic summer evening in 1924, when Pol Pot was conceived, to the first time someone figured out how to eat a pineapple without ripping their mouth to shreds, this week in history, 1692, five citizens were executed after being convicted during the Salem witch trials, all while dozens of witches, warlocks, and sorcerers stood by and watched the wrongly accused take the rap for them, while the perfectly normal humans charged with witchcraft were publicly hung and dragged to their unmarked graves, the numerous Salem citizens that did spend their evenings casting spells and awakening the dead merely lowered their heads as their friends and neighbors were burned at the stake. Historical records have indicated that as many as 35% of the people in Salem were actually witches and warlocks. In fact, the executioner himself was a well-known necromancer who, after hanging the wrongly accused witches, reanimated their dead bodies and apologized before casting them into the eternal fires of hell. This is the Onion News Network. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. 
Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything you want. Just dial in toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got a website. It's freetalklive.com. You can go there and get interactive with other listeners of the show. You can actually submit content right there to the front page and vote on it as well. Freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. My Magic Mud is a, it's a t- natural tooth care product. Now, it is black as Midnight. <laughs> um, it is made with uh, this this ben, bentonite clay, and what it does is it uh, it, it kind of draws the you know yucky stuff out of your mouth in a mm. way that uh, I, I guess it's kind of like this oil it's like pulling. magic. Well, I I guess I mean you know for me I've, my mouth's never felt like it did when I use my magic mud. It's Wait obviously not magic. It's science. You said but- it was like oil pulling. Not at all. I've read about oil pulling. It takes like twenty minutes. Right. It's two minutes to apply this uh, this stuff. And in that at first application, I saw an immediate difference in my teeth. People have posted on the the Facebook page them using my magic mud and their results no too, and one application. And in one application, you will see noticeably brighter teeth. Now it's a teeth whitener, but it's also a teeth a mouth cleanser. Frankly, you can swallow the stuff. It's not toxic. It doesn't have fluoride in it. Um, and one thing I think sort of amazing about it, and one of the reasons I continue to use it is, is not only does it keep my teeth sort of unstained because I drink a lot of coffee, <laughs> but it, um, it, it also makes my teeth feel in the morning like they... They're they're still clean, you know. They don't have that kind of film that teeth mm. have in the morning, that kind of crappy plaque thing. Um, it's it just go to mymagicmud.com, check it out. They take Bitcoin, absolutely. Uh, there is uh, on the website you can uh, watch a video from a dentist who uh, a- advocates for it, tells uh, why it's a good idea. It's Dr. Griffin Cole. It's amazing stuff. Um, I I will never live life without mymagicmud.com any longer. So wow. that's why that's a, as important of a product as uh, for me. Oil pulling is quackery. That's what I read. And I believe it. I don't know. Um, I, I, I've never done it, but I've heard people say Sounds that it's crazy you know, to me. good stuff for some reason or other. 20 well, the fact minutes is, swishing oil around my mouth. Sounds if you awful. Do, if you do anything to your teeth, you're disturbing the bacteria. Right. So when you disturb the bacteria, they don't have a chance to set in and um, and and begin to you know go after the the enamel on your teeth. So I would say it's not cr- quackery in that um, you know if you're doing anything to your teeth, you're doing good stuff. You stick it, you take a stick like our ancestors did and kind of rub on your teeth, you're doing good stuff for them. By your ancestors, are you talking about my dad? <laughs> He's not my ancestor. Okay, right. 
Yeah, I, yeah, that's that was the basis of the article that I read was that the little empirical research they had about the oil pulling method came from a study in India where oil pullers were compared to people who didn't do anything to their teeth at all. And there was a improvement of the teeth of the oil pulling set. That's all. I see. So let's go back to Nathan. He is still with us in Texas. Nathan, you were commenting on the uh, the, the discussion we'd had about hitmen and Johnny Ray saying that he wasn't so sure if there was really anything wrong. And I'm, I'm putting words in your mouth, Johnny Ray, so correct me if I'm wrong here. But you were not so sure that it was really that wrong to hire the hitman. To you, the issue is the actual hitman and whether or not he does the job. But I was saying that it's wrong. to It is a crime to hire a hitman because you are asking for someone's life to be taken or someone to be, someone to be harmed. But Nathan had some comments. But am I putting words in your mouth, Johnny Ray? I don't want to sum up what you were saying inappropriately. I think there is a very, very important distinction between talking about killing somebody and wringing their neck until they're dead. Well, there's also a distinction between talking about killing someone and then hiring someone to do the job. Right? Well, I'm putting the hiring someone to do the job. That's talking about it. That's mm. saying, I'll I'll pay you $50,000 to kill this person. To wring their neck until they're dead. Yes, there's a, there's, a, there's a real distinction between the two. And I think the guy who commits the deed has done a much, 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 much worse thing. Although, I'll give you that. I'll yeah, give you that. I, I don't know what the distinction really means um, because I think that there is a, a probrium for both. For, for the the talker and the doer, but I should the uh, should the hitman or the hirer hirer of the hitman, uh, the client, I guess should that person, and I agree with you that the 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 act itself of the killing is certainly more egregious than the hiring of the killing. Uh -huh. There's no doubt because certain if you, if the person who wanted to hire another individual couldn't find someone to do the dirty work, maybe nothing would ever would ever end up happening. Uh -huh. um, but should that person be guilty of murder? Should a person hiring a hitman be by proxy guilty of murder? Philosophically, I'm going to say yes, but guilty, like in a court of law, the, the, these these concepts don't really mean anything to me. And in in Ooh. my world, in my world, there would be. Uh, businesses that would f that that would follow criminals around and and surveil them their whole life because I'm I'm quite certain that with all the money that we spent that we spend on criminal justice every year against everybody criminals and non-criminals alike a market system could produce something that was completely nonviolent that didn't cage anybody only focused on people who'd actually committed crimes and if we spent the same amount of money we could hire a team of 15 people to follow every criminal around and uh, number one prevent them from committing crimes in the future and number two maybe if if this was right according to uh, my society I'm not so sure yet make life hell for them Let's go back to Nathan. He's with us on Skype. Nathan, you were trying to make a point in the last segment, and I apologize. I wasn't paying enough attention. Go ahead. Uh, well, uh, it's funny you mentioned uh, jails because I think in R Robert Murphy did a talk recently where he said criminals would voluntarily report to jail because no one else would take them. Um, <laughs> uh <-huh>. but, <laughs> I can see that. Aside from that. Uh, so the principle I was trying to articulate, and I think Johnny Ray is trying to also favors, is this interposition idea, which means that if we're trying to discern who has caused an, an action to occur, um, people who intervene in the causal chain can make people before them lose responsibility. So, for example, if I lose my knife on the street and then someone takes it and uses it to commit a crime, I'm not responsible for that. Obviously. Because they've inter they've intervened in the causal chain ahead of me. Um, uh, and the same principle would apply if you're, like, say, a gun seller. I'm sure none of you would, would want people selling guns to be held responsible for everything that the customer of the shop does, right? Right. Or car salespeople to be responsible for somebody who commits vehicular homicide. All right. So how are you going right. to tie this into hiring a hitman? I'm not real clear on that. Well, because what you would say is that the uh, and I think what Johnny Ray wants to say is that the hitman or the the agent, shall we say, is intervening in this chain. In other words, the, there's the person who wants to commit the crime, but his intentions are nullified by this principle because the agent is the one who's actually going forward and doing it. In other words, it's it's almost as if um, 
like uh, the, the metaphorical knife has been dropped and now the agent has picked it up and is committing the crime. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of these Supreme Court cases uh, where they talk about incitement to riot. I don't know if you know any of them, like Hess v. Indiana, Brandenburg v. Ohio. They deal with cases where, like, you have a Klan member and he's talking about, let's get our vengeance against them all and, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, and, there's uh, a difference between somebody shouting a political message and what they would like to see happen, uh, like, the, we ought to string them up from the uh, rooftops or whatever, uh, <laughs> saying what you'd like to see happen and then somebody going and putting it into effect is a whole different matter, a whole different ball of wax than sitting down and giving somebody right. $20,000 to go and kill someone or giving them right, $2,000 to go and beat someone to, uh, close to death. Also, um, what you and need to consider is is that the the average person is going to sit there and say I wouldn't be motivated by somebody who says let's string them up but the average person understands that they likely would commit a terrible crime for enough money I don't know if the average person would do that Mark, I think but, they, uh, I, I, Nathan are you saying I think you, we need to do a poll on are that. you saying you don't think that uh, the, the person hiring the hitman is responsible well he is responsible Okay, great. Well, we're on board then. Thanks for the call. Appreciate it. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Your thoughts on hiring a hitman, saggy pants, whatever's on your mind goes on Free Talk Live. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I being a member of liberty.me and i think you will too the first month is free sign up and say hello you've been lied to lied to by corrupt washington politicians and the wall street propaganda machine my name is brett kitchen and i want to give you a free copy of my inc magazine best-selling book safe money millionaire because wall street's 401k and other investment plans have failed millions of americans after losing 35 percent in my ira in the crash several years ago i said enough since then, I've discovered an IRS-approved way to safely grow my money up to 12 to even 17, cut taxes dramatically, but also have my money protected when the next crash comes. Call now to talk with a specialist to discover this little-known strategy to potentially build a million-dollar tax-free retirement income, get potential 12 to 17% returns, and never lose when the next crash hits. Call 888-885-8820 and discover this tool that people like Walt Disney and J.C. Penney used to safely grow rich. Plus, get one of just 97 free books left. We even cover shipping and handling. Call 888-885-8820. 888-885-8820. Again, that's 888- 888-885-8820. A meme is not easy to define. What is it? But you know it when you see it. Amazing. Don't tread on meme.com proves that. I feel so enlightened. Don't tread on meme, M-E-M-E, -E, helping you give the finger to our monetary system of deception by providing you with silver dime trading cards. Unlike today's dollar, they have value. And they look neat, too. Oh, would you look at those? Aren't those just swell? Don't tread on meme.com. While you're browsing their numerous silver dime card designs, take time to download the easy-to-use silver calculator app. This simple piece of technology lets you know instantly, whether using iPhone or Android, just how much your silver coin is worth. Find out all the details at don'ttreadonmeme.com. Now accepting Bitcoin. Don't tread on meme. Your path to a voluntary society with honest money. Don't tread on meme.com, serving you faster than the Fed prints money. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. 
You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and you can bring up anything that you want. Just dial in toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733, and we're here to take your calls about absolutely anything that happens to be on your mind. The we tonight includes me, Ian. Me, Johnny Ray. And me, Mark. And you get to join us on the phones or via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm, so feel free to reach out that way if you like. And Free Talk Live is brought to you by Blockchain.info. Their brand new app, the Blockchain app for uh, Android, is now available on iPhone. And it's back. Apparently, Apple has allowed it back into the store. This is the rumor I've heard. I have not actually, I don't have an iOS device, so I can't verify the claim. But I've heard that it's true. Go to Blockchain.com. You can download their app there. And I was actually trying out the Blockchain app today because uh, the Shire Free Church here has ordered a Bitcoin vending machine, and I'm hoping to bring it out to the local county fair starting tomorrow to kind of introduce people to Bitcoin. And I'd actually never tried the blockchain app from scratch. What I mean by that is I had already had a blockchain account on their website at blockchain.info, and then I installed their app and kind of linked it, synced it up with my account, which is a little bit of a process. Um, not, not a big process, a little bit of a process, but it's even easier to just start the blockchain app for the first time, not having a blockchain account at all. And you can just jump right in and start with Bitcoin. I was amazed at how fast it was because I wanted to try it from like a new user's perspective. What would it be like if I installed the blockchain.info app and had never had an account with them? How hard or easy would it be to actually create that account through the app? Turns out it's shockingly easy. Um, and I was really happy with it. So the, the new blockchain app is awesome. You can go and get yours and your own account just by downloading the app at blockchain.com. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends with us on Skype. Hello, Michael. Hello. Hey. Hello. It's good to be here. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, man. So I've been kind of growing over the weeks and months and years and decades doing uh, spoken audio. It's what I've always gone back to. And you've been a mentor to me, Ian and Mark, in this. And there's always one problem, you know, on doing it on a budget. The biggest problem is uh, connecting one person to another. You know, you can use Skype or uh, Blink or Mumble or TeamSpeak, but they all go through a central server and they all are kind of made for working in bad bad audio conditions. They have a lot of noise suppression. Uh, they don't work very well with a good mic or a decent cheap mic, you know, in a good room that you've hung some blankets up in. And this is something that you and I, Ian, have been just, you know, spending late nights trying out all this different stuff. And we haven't found anything, right? It's true. Yeah, yeah. So... I've been trying to find something like this for a couple of years, and I've decided to finally just to break down and try to raise money on Indiegogo. And I have a programmer that I'm going to hire, uh, Derek Slopey, who did Meow Bit. We're going to hire him and maybe one other person to make this thing and uh, make it to the criteria of what podcasters and radio people on a budget need and, you know, what will work for LRN hosts and what will work for Freedom Fiends hosts and what will work for anybody out there wanting to do a podcast with someone in a re remote location who's not in the same room with them. And uh, so we got this fundraising site. It's on Indiegogo. You can find it easy by going to fiendphone.com. That's fiend like the Freedom Fiends, F-E-E-N. Phone, like P-H-O-N-E, dot com, fiendphone.com. Man, I got to hand know. it to you, Michael Dean. I mean, you when you want something, you just go out there and get it. You, you find a programmer who's willing to do the work, which, by the way, I don't know how you managed to do that. 
uh, to find programmers who are willing to actually work because most of the ones that are worth it are busy and it's hard to yeah, get their time. Yeah. Um, and it sounds like you want to raise some money to actually pay for this to happen, which of course, you know, I, I hope that it can work out. I mean, is it really necessary though? I mean, aren't you just really looking to spend, what is it, $20,000 you're looking to raise on this? That's what we'd like to raise. I mean, that'd be to fully develop it and keep it going for a while, you I know, because you, you could get people to do favors and stuff, but if you really want someone yeah. to dedicate you months to oh, sure. doing something, you know, and programmers get hundreds of dollars an hour or more or less, you know, but, you know, you can't just say, hey, uh, I've got 200 bucks. Can you do me this favor and work 80 hours a week for two months, you know? No doubt. Programming is, uh, you know, it's a lot of work. I took a little bit of programming in high school, and it's a difficult task. Um, so, you know, they're worth getting paid what they're worth. But the problem that I've encountered, and I've met Derek, by the way. He was at the Porcupine Freedom Festival, the guy you're proposing as the, the programmer. He was the, he was the guy with the ambulance, if people want to know. The media ambulance. Yeah, with like a, bo everyone... a boatload of electronic equipment, yeah. uh, video and equipment and things like that. And there was a pretty cool uh, little bus that, or a little ambulance that he had. And um, anyway, like my my concern is that programmers from from me, in my experience, and it's just my experience, have been difficult to find and difficult to keep and difficult to uh, to get to make something that's not full of bugs to where they're always fixing the bugs for you. Like that's like, oh, well, here's a bunch of money to program something, <laughs> and now here's more money every single month to fix yeah, all the bugs. That's that's not a problem with him. Uh, he and I have done a large scale project before with the meow bit for uh, Namecoin and dot bit. And, you know, people always rag on nepotism like, oh, you always go with the people, you know, you don't look for other people. And it's like, yeah, but you want to go with the people that you've been in the trenches with and seen how they perform, you know. And if we do end up uh, hiring another programmer you know, he is going to be the team leader for that aspect of it. For a second programmer, he knows what to look for. He knows if someone's BSing or not. And, uh, you know, he can he can work with them. So it's going to be an ongoing long-term project. We're calling it Fiend Phone. I had trouble coming up with a name for it. I didn't want to put, you know, the name of my show in it. I was going to call it, like, you know, Clear Chat or Voice <laughs> Voice Liberty or anything. But it's like... Literally, if you take any two or three words and one of them's clear, one of them's voice, one of them's chat, or one of them's talk. Probably copyrighted and, try and trademarked. To, you try to put them together, I guarantee you there's already a telecom in like Bangalore or China with that name. They're yeah. all taken. Probably no fiend actually, phone. Yeah, by the I way, actually, no, there's not. I actually thought of calling it Free Talk Live. That'd be a great name for it because it would describe what it is, but you have such a brand recognition it'd be too confusing. Mm. It's funny. Um, now, once you get this created, are you going to just sort of release it for other podcasts? Free, like free, man. And free, 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 open source, anybody can play with the code, and it's going to be free for anyone to use. I mean, basically, there is stuff that'll do this, but it's either hardware that costs between $1,500 and $3,500, and you and I own some of those, Mark and Ian and I, sure. those boxes. Or, you know, there are programs that do this, but they're proprietary and they cost $200 or per license, you know. So if you have a, a network or a show with 12 hosts or co-hosts, you know, that's getting into some big money there. So we're going to try to spend the money and the time to do it and get it done and then give it away to make the world a better sounding place. It's a neat project. I hope that it uh, hope that it pans out. And uh, what is it? Phone, free, fiendphone.com? Fiendphone.com. And yeah, you could, go, you could go there, Ian, and put your money where your mouth is if you want <laughs> i certainly could <laughs> although what's it worth spending the you know how much how much is this worth spending money on when i already have the equipment that i need to uh, to do i mean i get the idea of getting behind this uh i just don't know if it's got enough of a, a market appeal i mean ultimately well, there's all kinds of stuff out there and you're on skype right now and you sound fine and you know yeah maybe but i have like five thousand dollars worth of outboard gear you know what we're doing is trying to make something that'll work with a 50 dollars usb mic and sound great so anybody can do it so it lowers the barrier to people making uh, Liberty Media. And actually, this is something you need because you've complained that you don't have a good thing to connect the LRN show hosts to reliably. TeamSpeak's been working pretty well, actually. Has but, it? I thought there were problems with yeah. it. But, uh, you know, 
I mean, it's not perfect. Stuff. It's not perfect, but it seems like you're going to spend uh, $20,000 trying to shave off a half second of delay. I mean, that's the issue with internet transmission is when you're talking with somebody, the biggest problem you're going to run into besides they, them not having a very good internet connection and you not being able to understand them. Oh, don't forget the crappy mic. It, well, right. And there's that. But the other biggest problem is sometimes there's a there's a lag. Like you'll say something and it'll be a second or two before the person responds because they haven't heard you finish saying what you had spoken. Um, that was what you and I were trying to experiment with after hours, Michael Dean, was to try to find the program that has the delay at the minimum but also meets all the specs. And so it seems like, you know, $20,000 to shave off half a second of uh, delay to a second of delay I mean, that's a that's a that's a tall order. That's why I say I hope it works because I would like to see the software uh, pan out, but I don't know how much I I would be willing to put in of the twenty thousand. To be honest with you, I mean that's thank you for that feeling. glowing endor that glowing endorsement, Ian Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, I don't want to puff well, something up necessarily if if it's you know not really worth the effort to to put into it. I don't know. If I it think is. it's worth it. if I had if I had twenty thousand dollars to do it, I would have done this a year ago. It's that mm. important to me. I really think. That the quality, here's the thing, I think that Liberty Media is growing, but I think that the quality of it is not near overall what the corporate media is. And I think that even if people don't consciously go, oh, that's great audio or that's bad audio, they tend to tune out quicker, yep. they don't listen as long. And we need to get our quality up to their quality. I agree with that. Seriously. And the creamy radio uh, audio.com is a huge step towards that, too. There's no doubt about that. Hey, thanks, Michael Dean. Uh, that's fiendphone.com if you like to donate to the fundraiser. Check him out at freedomfiends.com as well. All right, 855 450 free. That's the toll free number here. We'll talk more saggy pants or whatever's on your mind coming up in moments. Hour number three is on the way. Free Talk Live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. In every age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society. The wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, July 29th, 2014. Silver is trading at $20.61 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,307 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $585. 
Antiwar.com reports, the ongoing Israeli war on the Gaza Strip shows no signs of letting up, and the plausible deniability scheme of ordering Palestinian civilians out of neighborhoods without any real place for them to go is continuing. Yesterday, the Israeli military began sending text messages to thousands of Gazans in areas around the outskirts of Gaza City, ordering them to evacuate immediately towards central Gaza City, despite that also being under constant Israeli attack. Israel has noted these warnings when confronted by the massive civilian death toll on their onslaught, but as confirmed by the UN last week, there is literally no safe place for civilians in Gaza, and even UN-run refugee sites are being shelled. Hundreds of thousands of Gaza civilians have been forced out of their homes by Israeli airstrikes and shelling, though with neither Israel nor Egypt allowing them in, they are basically taking a wild guess as to which parts of the Strip will be most intensely shelled on any given day. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. The Associated Press reports a federal appeals court ruled on Monday that Virginia's same-sex marriage ban is unconstitutional, the latest in a string of decisions overturning such bans across the country. A three-judge panel of the 4th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Richmond ruled that state, constitutional, and statutory provisions barring gay marriage and denying recognition of such unions performed in other states violates the U.S. Constitution. Now using to turn around their child's behavior. If you've heard about the total transformation and wondered if it will work for you, now you can try it for free. I'm willing to give away a thousand programs today for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. I know the total transformation works because I used these techniques with my own son and with troubled kids for over 30 years. Let me prove to you that it works by giving you the program for free. Call now. 1-800-753-4574. 1-800-753-4574. That's 1-800-753-4574. A $1,000 per pill drug that insurers are reluctant to pay for has quickly become the treatment of choice for hepatitis C, a liver-wasting viral disease that affects more than 3 million Americans. In less than six months, prescriptions for Sovaldi have eclipsed all other hepatitis C pills combined. That's according to new data from IMS Health. Greg Alton with Gilead Science says Sovaldi is not as expensive as you might think considering the cost of previous medications. The cost per cure of the older regimens was roughly somewhere between $150,000 and $200,000. With a Sovaldi regimen, we're actually getting down to about $115,000 per cure. But two senior senators are raising questions about documents that suggest the initial developers of Sovaldi considered pricing treatment at less than half as much. The health insurance industry is publicly scolding Gilead. This is SRN News. By a unanimous vote of 97 to nothing, the Senate has confirmed Robert McDonald to be the new Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Robert McDonald is a former graduate of West Point, a veteran Army officer, and CEO of Procter & Gamble. He takes over at the VA at a critical time as it tries to recover from the scandal of falsified patient waiting lists and hidden backlogs at VA facilities. Scores of veterans had died while waiting for the care they needed. McDonald also takes over as the House and the Senate are poised to pass the VA reform bill. Among other things, it will give the VA secretary more power to fire underperforming employees. It also builds new VA health care facilities and hires scores of doctors and other health care workers. Linda Kenyon, SRN News, Washington. Hundreds of people across the country are telling the Environmental Protection Agency its new rules for power plant pollution either go too far or not far enough. The agency's holding hearings today. More details at SRNNews.com. I'm Keith Peters in Washington. The human body is extraordinary. 
Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. This is Free Talk Live. We're launching into the third hour of the program, and you can bring up whatever you want. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And you can join us online. Just go to freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features on the site. They are free. You get to create the content, submit what you want, find something online you think is interesting, submit it there at freetalklive.com, and it'll be on the site for others to vote on through our Reddit-based system. You need a free Reddit account and free Free Talk Live account. Link them both together in a short process, and it'll be easy for you to uh, submit content and vote on it anytime you want at freetalklive.com. Frequently, we'll get uh, show prep right there from the front page that was placed there and voted on by listeners like you. Uh, here in the studio, Ian, Johnny, Ray, Mark, we'll all take your calls about anything that's on your mind just to bring you up to speed in case you're just tuning in. It was Ocala, Florida, where it has happened again. Uh, there have been various different bands on saggy pants over the years in various places. And this is one apparently that a long time ago had been uh, pushed previously. Her name is Mary Sue Rich. She's the councilwoman who is the so-called driving force behind the law that will threaten people who have saggy pants below two inches, uh, below the so-called natural waistline with a $500 fine, up to $500 fine, and possible jail time. They're anywhere on city sidewalks, streets, parks, so pretty much anywhere out in public. She uh, was pushing this years ago, and it had been brushed aside over racial profiling concerns. She said, everyone's saying, this from, by the way, ABC News, everyone's saying, I'm targeting young black men. She said, I'm black. I've been black for a long time. Why would I be targeting black men? I would just like to ask one of uh, these men, what is the advantage of pulling your pants down so far? (laughs) Now... Well, I, I, I don't. Th- I think there's a lot of <laughs> there are a lot of uh, fashions out there that don't have a bunch of advantages other than people think that they make them look good. Well, there are women who you know are into this look, right? Now there are probably how about a, high heels? I mean, really, what's the point of that? Can't we argue that high heels are as silly as baggy pants? Well, wouldn't uh, the wouldn't some argue that the high high heels make a woman look taller? So. Well, Let's talk. Argument for oh, you can reach that can of beans on the top shelf. Is high that what the heel, argument is? High heels are for immature, underachieving, <laughs> narcissistic slackers. For those just tuning in, uh, Johnny Ray is referencing a call from the first hour of the show where we were chewed out by somebody who was upset at us talking about this topic. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's a difference there. High heels, you could argue there's a utility to them. I think uh, some women would argue that it uh, enhances their booty. Right. Well, I uh, hold on. Okay. So that's it makes me look better. Yeah. Don't you think that's the argument between it and behind every fashion? Probably. Okay. So yeah. let's not use that as an argument. So um, anyway, back to the story here. Rich is a retired probation senior supervisor. Not everybody agrees. Uh, not every, but not everybody agrees is on board with the anti-SAG push, including that's a bad sentence. Uh, including Mayor Kent Gwynn, who may veto it. Gwynn told ABC News, and by the way, this is after a unanimous vote of the city council, quote, I don't think it's a good law. When we start getting into creating laws that prohibit people's freedom of expression and the way they dress, I think you're getting into some dangerous territory. Gwynn said... Here's a, a teen that claims that saggy pants saved him from an alligator. Gwynn said, after I thought about... 
uh, after I thought about it, I thought this is just a bad law. I may not like the way they dress, but I'm not going to make a law about it. He also added that it's nothing personal towards Councilwoman Rich. You vote for what you believe and your heart is right. Wait a minute. I thought they were supposed to be voting for what the people wanted. What about this whole representative uh, republic thing? Isn't that the supposed pitch? Is that these people, the city councilors, the state reps, that these are representing people? But yet here's the politicians saying that you're supposed to vote your heart. Now, I'm not saying it's necessarily wrong to vote what's in your heart. I'm just saying maybe they should get it straight. Which one is it? Are you voting your heart, what you believe is right? Or are you trying to pretend like you're voting for what the people of your district or ward or whatever political designation want? Well, the voters know what's in the hearts of the politicians that they vote for. Black That's why soot. they vote for them. They know everything about how they're going to how how they're going to decide on on every issue, and that's why they vote for them, and that's how they are representative. They know the secrets inside the politicians' hearts. He added, "I just don't think you can create laws that make you respect yourself." On the fate of the law, she works so hard to implement. Councilwoman Rich simply says, "I guess we'll see." So I guess it's not a done deal there in Ocala, but. These aren't. This isn't the first proposed saggy pants ban. It won't be the last one. And I, I would be interested in actually finding out, you know, which communities that have this thing are enforcing it to what extent, or have they been, you know, vetoed at the last minute? Is it like this Ocala story where there really isn't a saggy pants ban of any enforceable measure anywhere? I'm just curious about it. If you know, maybe you've got one in your area and you've heard about people actually being arrested or ticketed for it. Would love to hear from you. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. James is in Arizona. You're on Free Talk Live. James. Personally, I think it's one smoke and too much dope that they think that it's cool to be flashing your underwear in public when there's civilized women in this society that don't want to see somebody's butt crack. But I was wondering, Mark, if I were to come into your Shire Free Church and whatever you call your services, uh, just wearing my tidy whities and a white beater shirt, and let's just say that I haven't bought a new pair in a long time, so all the women in your congregation could see the brown stains on my crack and the disgusting uh, arm arm stains going down my arms, and maybe I have a bunch of disgusting tattoos that are offensive to people, or maybe I had uh, chicken pox when I was a kid and I scratched a lot. Uh, would I be welcome in your congregation, since I know you guys are all into, like, I'm free, I can do whatever I want in the old time kind of uh, mentality? It sounds to me Mark, like you need I the love welcome? of a good congregation more than anybody if you come in like that. Answer the question, would I be welcomed in your congregation? It sounds to me like, like you'd need the love of a good congregation more than You're anybody. You're not answering the question. Yes, the uh, answer is Ray, yes, indubitably. No, questions? I'm going to say no. Um, actually, James would not be allowed in my uh -huh. church. You're talking about James specifically. Because James right, is right. a uh, advocate but of violence, and the Shire Free Church is a peace church. Uh, I'm an advocate of violence. I haven't touched, laid a finger on you ever. But if you ever speak sir, to me like you, that in person, you have said sir, that you support the bombing of Japan. I defended the nuking of uh, That's right. two uh, munitions towns that ended the worst evil empire other than Nazi. You defended, and thank you for the empire. call, you defended the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which included thousands of innocent people who had never harmed or never threatened to harm anyone else. As far as I'm concerned, that is an advocate of violence. And, um, yeah, the Shire Free Church is a peace church. Doesn't seem like a good mix to me. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-373. Loose clothing is comfortable. It allows for um, weight gain. Uh, mm -hmm. It allows you to uh, conceal things uh, in your clothing that may be, I don't know, illegal or whatever. Um, I... Most of these cons I consider to be a much more uh, motivating to me than, um, you know, baggy pants. But, I, you know, I see what most of the callers have to say about saggy clothing and, you know, that they don't like it because. And I agree. I don't like it either. I, I, think, it, uh, I think it sends a bad message generally. But if that's what you want to do, then this isn't going to bother me that much. So in other news, uh, we got a Johnny Ray Game of the Week update coming up in a few moments, but let's talk tagging. Mark, you had a story that you mentioned to me about a senior citizen, an individual who, of course, you could argue there is no such thing as a citizen, but it's a common phrase, an, an elderly individual who apparently 
hasn't grown out of tagging things. Well, I think this is interesting because often what you'll hear people say about juveniles uh, being, um, you know, charged with adult crimes because they committed an adult crime, mm-hmm. so they should be charged as an adult is the uh, the argument. Sure. And I've often posited, well, what if I was uh, went out and I spray painted something on the side of a building? Should I be charged as a juvenile because that's a juvenile crime? <laughs> well, here, <laughs> a 61-year-old graffiti vandal led police on a 300, I guess, meter chase and a toy scooter after huh. spray painting the King's Cliff Police Station. Now, was he wearing baggy pants? I don't believe so, unless saggy I, pants. Well, actually, I grew up with my uncle Carl, and that man couldn't couldn't keep pants up on his butt to save his life. He didn't have much of one either. He tagged this this guy, old guy, tagged the police station. Yes, he did. All right, we'll come back with more here. You dumb sh- cops. Share your actually, thoughts. Actually, looks like pum cops. Toll free, 855-450 free. And since we're talking cops, I've actually got a police hazing story. What is alleged to be a hazing uh, within a police department coming up? It's Free Talk Live. When leading hardwood mills have excess flooring to sell, there's only one place they go. Lumber Liquidators, America's number one specialty retailer of wood flooring. This week, get amazing deals like gorgeous three-quarter inch, solid, pre-finished Brazilian cherry hardwood for only $2.99 per square foot. Or quick-click strand bamboo for 37% less than other stores. Plus, get first quality laminate flooring for 49 cents. So go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find your local store. Special 12-month financing is available. Hurry, these deals end Tuesday. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. Farmers keep livestock lean and healthy with a mineral-rich diet. Then, before market, they cut off minerals, leaving them to crave high-calorie grains. If weight control is this easy, why prescribe surgery for humans? Introducing Longevity. You could avoid 900 diseases by getting 90 essential nutrients from Longevity. Check out 90 for Life at tobeyoungagain.com or call 855-79-YOUNG. That's 855-79-YOUNG or tobeyoungagain.com. Longevity. It's all about saving money, getting healthy, and creating wealth. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. 
If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. And we'll take your calls about anything that you want to discuss. The toll-free number is 855-453. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online. Go to freetalklive.com. Get interactive there and enjoy the various features that we share with you. Uh, again, freetalklive.com. Now, when you're online, privacy matters. We've, If there's anything we've learned from the Edward Snowden revelations, it's that it takes effort. You have to put time and effort and money into being private. You can't expect your internet service provider to keep your privacy for you. They're probably logging everything you do, uh, every website you visit, every search term you enter, probably keeping those logs in some cases as long as five years. You're going to hand them over as soon as the government comes knocking, a lot of those guys. So you, you can stop that from happening. Just stop the collection from happening wholesale. Stop it entirely by using ProXPN. But that's because ProXPN is a global virtual private network that encrypts your data, meaning that before it gets to your ISP, it's encrypted. They can't read it. They, they just pass it on. That's all the ISP becomes, essentially a pass-through once you start using ProXPN. Now, ProXPN is free. You can go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and grab their software for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices, Linux users. Setup's a little different for you, but you can get it working there as well. And then get started with ProXPN. Now, the free account is limited on bandwidth, and there's a few other limitations. When you want to open it up all the way to get unlimited bandwidth, servers around the world you can connect to and the ability to privately torrent, just go to ProXPN.com slash FTL and use promo code FTL20 and you'll get 20% off the price of their premium account for the lifetime of your account. That's not some weak introductory offer. That's for good. FTL20 is the code ProXPN.com slash FTL. And when you buy the annual plan with that code, that breaks the price down to $5 a month for some great privacy protection from ProXPN.com slash FTL. Risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee and ProXPN does not keep records of your online surfing habits. So go to ProXPN.com slash FTL. As we continue here, an old guy in his 60s, I guess older, I guess 60s is like middle-aged now, right? Old. I think 60s would be called middle-aged. Yeah. So anyway, ge- an older gentleman has... Of course, uh, I think it's arguably not middle-aged uh, if, unless you live to 120. An older gentleman has uh, gone ahead and uh, tagged a police department and then was chased down. That was all we got in the story, Mark. What else did you have to share? Yeah, well, it's it's, it's a crazy story, not one that I would... Uh, one, one you'd expect to read too often. But a senior vandal led police on a 300-meter chase on a toy scooter after allegedly scrawling graffiti across the Kingscliff police station. Police intercepted the man a few blocks from the station after spotting the 61-year-old spotting King Kingy Boys Rule and other illegible slogans on the or- in orange paint <laughs> on the building near uh, yesterday, um, early yesterday morning. Despite his age, the man put up quite a fight, injuring two officers while they tried to arrest him. With Detective Inspector Brendan Cullen saying one officer suffered a so- shoulder injury. One of the officers will be off work for one week with a shoulder injury, and the female officer suffered some grazes to her hand. The reasons why he went to these lengths, I'm not completely sure, but needless to say, the actions were uh, alleging are quite irrational, particularly with uh, police being in the building at the time. It looks to me like it says uh, dumb cops. I mean, that's not illegible at all. Um, and they they sprayed out, like the, there's a crest on the building. He sprays that out and then like scribbles out Kingscliff Police Station and, and then leaves on this little toy scooter. Um, it's a pretty interesting story. Yeah, so what are they charging him with? Well, they didn't say what they're charging him with, but I can and tell you. And where is Kingscliff? I, I don't know. I mean, does it really matter? I just wasn't sure if it was Great Britain. I wasn't real clear on you know, if this was even the United States. Where's the source? It does look Great Britain-y with the uh, police sign out there. I didn't really notice that, but uh, yeah, it does It does have that, that look. I don't. I just thought it was amusing. Source of the story? The source is a freethoughtproject.com. That oh. guy has some great content, doesn't he? John Vibes is his name. And uh, he was at the Porcupine Freedom Festival this year. I don't know if it was his first year. I didn't really get a chance to talk to him. But uh, New South Wales. This is in uh, um, uh, Kiwi. Um, 
In Australia? Nope. Uh, uh, New Zealand. New Zealand, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't mean to lead you on a guessing trail. I just couldn't come up with a name. Yeah. So anyway, the Free Thought Project, is it the Free Thought Project or just Free Thought the, Project? The, the Free Thought Project. Great dot website, com. dot com. Uh, they, I mean, that guy, I don't know how he does it. I don't know if he's got staff because it seems like he's putting up a lot of content on a regular basis there. Indeed. Well, I thought it was a very interesting school um, story, and there you go. Hey, here's a crazy one for you. Uh, have you guys heard about the uh, cinnamon challenge and the various different challenges on YouTube? I think I've, I, ju- I saw the word cinnamon challenge today, but I don't know what so it is. So you've never seen a challenge video and, you know, X challenge. There's some sort of thing and then a challenge associated with it. Within the last year or two, you have not seen one of these videos? I haven't. They're relatively popular, from what I understand. Uh, I don't know if Cinnamon Challenge was the first one of all of them, but they're they're just ridiculous things that people are doing. Some of them far more dangerous than others. Uh, one of the popular ones this winter time was some sort of a polar challenge or polar plunge or something like that. Uh, what are many people have heart attacks jumping into this ice cold water? That's what it is. Teenagers mostly are jumping into ice cold water all around the country, or they were during that time of year, um, to show how badass they are, I guess. And of course, most well, many people are being taken to the hospital, and I think there have been a couple deaths. Teenagers are, are um, in fact, a lot more badass. They have the uh, they have these young bodies that can uh, they're very resilient to these kind of things. Yep. Fine. Yeah, but you're not going to be resilient to uh, second-degree burns when you spray alcohol or rub alcohol all over your chest and then light it on fire in the new Fire Challenge-style video, apparently being found on Facebook and YouTube, at least according to CBS report. Well, that's just stupid. In Cleveland, there's a lot of stupid. Go ahead and look for the challenge videos on YouTube. You want to see some stupid stuff? You'll see a lot of it. When I was younger, I lit my hand on fire with rubbing alcohol. I have done that one, um, yep. And I can't remember how how do we put it out, but it was cold actually. It wasn't hot. It had huh. a cold sensation, yeah, um, almost like alcohol evaporating off of your yeah, hand, which yeah. is probably what it was. It was yeah. But well, I filled up a sink with water, set my hand on fire, and then was like, ah, and immediately <laughs> extinguished my hand. <laughs> Story from Lexington, or the Lexington CBS affiliate. Lexington police said officers were called to Appian Way to assess a teenager who'd buried himself, excuse me, not buried, burned himself after watching the fire challenge videos online. The teen, whose name was not given, mimicked the online videos by pouring rubbing alcohol on his body and then setting himself on fire. Unbearable, yeah, basically, said the teen who suffered second <laughs> <laughs> suffered from second degree burns. That's the thing with these challenge videos. They can be funny, but they're also horrifying, kind of like, you know, America's Funniest Home Videos, people just abusing themselves for laughs. You you get one body, you know, and you're sitting, I'm sitting here at 43, uh, wishing I hadn't done so many of the things that I did when Mm -hmm. I was 17. I, yeah... Don't do it, kids. There was a drink at the one of the bars near the base in Okinawa where they served. There was a drink called a Prairie Fire, which was 151, which is rum, I think. 151 Tabasco sauce, and they would set that on fire. Now you're supposed to blow it out before you drank it. A, a buddy of mine was really <laughs> drunk and wanted to show, you know, oh, what he was capable he of, and he drank it without without blowing it out and burned his face real good. Oh God! All right, we'll come back with more here. And you were sitting there to watch that happen? Yes. Wow. All right, we'll come back. You can share your thoughts. The fire challenge. What happened to the young man who tried it? It's Free Talk Live. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Do you ever feel like you live in an alternate universe? 
As the stock market hits new highs, the middle class are dying. Manipulated financial markets and economic figures, chaos on our border, China and Russia bypassing the dollar. Life is getting ready to change. You need to prepare to thrive in the new economy. Go to babyboomerbackupplan.com or call 888-507-8789. That's 888-507-8789. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges start a conversation with your neighbor or your doctor or your family or your school. Now there's teachers and lawyers and business executives and they all wear shiny badges and they all reject the state. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges show the world that you reject coercion and aggression and oppression by the state. Shinybadges.com So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring signs into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this room. No, I have work today. Well, this is you ain't going to make. Wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Just drop by freetalklive.com. Enjoy the features waiting for you on the site. Again, freetalklive.com. With you tonight, Ian here. Johnny Ray. And Mark. Inviting you over to our website to enjoy everything you'll find there. You can also join us on the air via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. You can join us via phone thanks to pro xpn our phone number toll free 855 450 free we're talking about a really really bad idea the story coming from cbs local in lexington kentucky a young man has been burned with second degree burns after watching the fire challenge videos online according to wykt tv the teen whose name has not been given Uh, poured rubbing alcohol on his body, then set himself on fire. 
saying, quote, unbearable, yeah, basically. Literally after it got put out, it was already blistering. It's just hard. Videos of the fire challenge also show teens spraying themselves with aerosol cans before lighting portions of their body on fire in order to singe off their own hair. But the videos never show the physical aftermath of lighting oneself on fire. The teen said of his actions, quote, just watching it and never seeing what ended and just being childish. Uh, unquote. One of the firefighters. Well, I, I didn't expect a coherent quote no. out of one of these idiots. <laughs> one of the firefighters who took the team. Well, combine the fact that this person may not be the brightest of the bulbs in the basket, but also it's a CBS story, and CBS has the worst copy editing I've ever seen <laughs> in the news business. Um, anyway, one of the firefighters who took the teenager to the hospital said the burns suffered by the boy will likely affect him for the rest of his life. After getting a second or third degree burn later on in life, if you get a sunburn, it's going to be compounded by these particular burns, said the emergency worker. You can get caught on fire and die. Your house can get caught on fire. Wherever you're at can get caught on fire, said the teen, cautioning others not to light themselves on fire for any reason. Yeah, it's bad enough if you accidentally get caught on fire, but to light yourself ablaze for on purpose is pretty ridiculous. Now, I've actually found, we were digging through YouTube during the break. I was digging through YouTube. There's actually a link in the story. Now, I'll share the story, but that's not what you want to see. The video the is video. not for the squeamish. I don't recommend it to everybody at all. This video is pretty intense. I suspect the video, and we cannot play it on the air because there's some profanity, as you might imagine. Well, yeah, when you get caught on fire, um, yeah. whether it's through your own stupidity or not, you're liable. Amazingly, th he wasn't being profane. It was the people nearby. Well, you know, uh, I mean, were. there's there's a time for cuss words when your friend has uh, doused himself yeah, in alcohol. Uh, I'm not saying it was alcohol. wrong. Um, you know, that might be the time to do it. I, I'm just saying we're not going to play it on the air, but you can play it do it at your leisure just go to our facebook google plus twitter page you should find the link there it's basically you know you'd think it's not going to go so bad I, my comments when i was watching this off the air were oh this doesn't look like it's going to go too bad i mean he's standing in the shower he's already in the, the shower's running yeah he's already in the bathroom with the shower running well yeah. it sounds like the shower's running but i think it's like on the other side of the room or something but anyway he's in the bathroom very nearby to a shower and he's pouring something on him. Maybe it's just plain old rubbing alcohol. It's hard to get a real view of what that is. But it's he's got kind giving of a, himself a liberal dose. Yeah. It's <laughs> like Clark Griswold and the and the barbe and in the, his barbecue. He just keeps pouring more on and then and shares talking. some words with somebody yeah. else and then puts some more on. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I think it is just rubbing alcohol because it's got that kind of clear, semi-clear looking bottle. <laughs> that clear you're going to catch fire soon look. And yeah, he's just like kind of chit-chatting as he's dosing himself liberally with this alcohol. His pants are getting wet, soaked with the alcohol. And I don't think he realizes how much he's put on or what his level of cognizance is in this whole thing. Anyway, when he lights it up, it literally engulfs his entire like torso and head for a moment as it, whoosh, you know, just kind of whooshes upwards. Yeah. And uh, and then the rest of it is screaming and trying to put the fire out uh, at that point. I suspect it's the actual, the real McCoy. That That's what this news article is based on. The news article itself is relatively fresh. Uh, that was posted on July 28th. The video, which is entitled Fire Challenge Gone Wrong, was posted by LiveLeak on YouTube. And so I, I know LiveLeak had its own YouTube channel, but they do. And so I guess LiveLeak features certain videos on YouTube from their own service, which is kind of competing with YouTube to some extent. LiveLeak Live Leak is where you can go to post the hardcore stuff. Like whatever it is YouTube bans, LiveLeak will accept. And so this is for the moment on YouTube, whether they'll ban it or not. I don't know, but it's. I was shocked. Like I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. Don't I, do this, kids. Fire I, challenge. You know, just say no to fire. Thank God for videos like this, because then people can see them and not repeat the uh, behavior. Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, that's certainly one of the good things about this video. But obviously, it was other videos that had inspired the behavior. So it's kind of a double-edged sword, right? On one end, you know, YouTube is inspiring more stupidity. On the other end, maybe it's preventing some stupidity as well. 
what's the how does it all balance out is there more stupid because of youtube or is the stupid is you know always as it always has been it's just now we get to see more of it yeah it inspires stupidity amongst the stupid and it inspires caution and uh and 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 simply provides knowledge to the not stupid all right so what's the worst challenge i'm not asking you guys because you haven't seen any of these up, up until tonight What's the worst, you the listener, what is the worst challenge video that you have seen? And there are a lot of different categories. I only know of a few. There's like, you know, a cinnamon challenge. There's an egg challenge. There's all kinds of stuff uh, out there. So share with us. You can share directly on our Facebook page or call in and talk about it. Or maybe you've done some of these challenges. And I, I guess all you're doing it for is the satisfaction of knowing you've done it and however many YouTube views you get out of it. There's so much of this in the world, the, this sort of recognition thing, um, like you can say you did it or whatever, and it's amazing how you can motivate people with it. Uh, think about it for a second. What are Boy Scout patches? But recognition. Recognition, sure. You know, you know the, somebody's taking the time to give you like a patch that you can then wear around, but usually only at Boy Scout events, and mostly only you care that you have the patch. Um, well, this guy has something more than a patch now. Somewhere they're in you all know, over his body. It, it, probably in some junk junkyard at this point. There's a uh, the a clear channel. I I was the salesman of the month, uh, some number of months mm. there. Um, so my name. Aren't you supposed to get a new person every month for that? What do you, no, why would you? I guess you're right. That salesman would be different. Because normally when you're at like a store with employees, you want to pick a new one every month. Right. You would want to pick in, in a place where you really can't measure achievements yeah. uh, amongst okay. employees. Sure. Yeah. Sense. No, you want to measure achievements. Uh, um, what do they give you? Just a trophy or did you get anything no, else? No, you got your name etched on some plaque that you never got to keep. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Did you ever get like a free lunch or anything like that? They give you anything? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, I got free lunches anyway. Right. Um, you know, they give you trade, that kind of thing. So... No, whatever. But you know, this this is the it's the same sort of thing. It's this feeling of accomplishment that that people get as opposed to you know a cash reward. Uh, I liked the months when I won the uh, the cash reward uh, thing, or not the cash reward, but like the uh, you know the, the vacation or the hotel or whatever they'd give away. So that was pretty nice. So you can share your thoughts with us. Uh, the fire challenge, uh, not a good one. People just try to stay away from that one. But, you know, there are some other challenge videos out there. I am interested in knowing what you like, what you don't. Also, we can talk about Johnny Ray's Game of the Week. It's not really a Game of the Week this week. You wanted to, Johnny Ray, discuss some subtleties between business models between certain games. Is that right? That's right. Or maybe it's not so subtle. I don't know what you wanted to focus on. But I think it is subtle. Okay. All yeah. right. Let's jump into that. Okay. Uh, but First of all, Mark, have you ever seen Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross? Yes, I have. Would you like a box of steak knives? <laughs> Second place? <laughs> Over my head, nice. gentlemen. What's the inside joke so, here? Glenn it's Gary, about Glenn salesman. Ross is the consummate sales movie, right? Ah, okay. uh, they're selling uh, these this apartment, that, uh, not apartment complex, but uh, you know, like land lots and that kind of thing. And the winner of the sales contest gets a brand new um, Cadillac. Second place gets a box of steak knives. <laughs> Third place gets fired. We come back with more here in moments on Free Talk Live. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Did you do a challenge? Come on, admit it. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, healthcare, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at liberty.me. I love being a member of liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Springtime is save big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know spring is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. 
Log on for spring specials, including our 500 parts per million colloidal silver, all sizes on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, Hootia and Metabolic Complex, and ProMetabolic, all on sale now. Also, the Anti-Parasite Intestinal Freedom and Warwood Plus Complex, plus Stevia Liquid Sweetener and the Super Enzymes, all on sale for spring at HerbalHealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and click on Spring Specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. If you're looking for work, you know the math. There are many more applicants than openings, so you need to stand out, not blend into the blah, blah, blah your interviewer is hearing from your competition. Here's a tip. In your interview, you will be judged more by the questions you ask than the answers you give. Yes, do anticipate the obvious job interview questions and prepare concise, insightful, glass half full sounding responses. And you should interview your interviewer. Seem genuinely curious about what will help get results. With money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. You want to cut through the clutter. For more tips for job seekers and making all the other conversations you have more productive hit survivalspeech.com i'm holland cook dvd books music instruments periodicals computers software electronics photo cell phone office products home and garden bed and bath furniture kitchen pet supplies automotive hardware apparel shoes jewelry grocery healthcare, sports and outdoors toys games used and more it's a department store at your fingertips shop.freetalklive.com get all your shopping done get a great deal and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit free talk live when you enter amazon via shop.freetalklive.com have you ever wanted to help a hard-working person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Moments remain right here. You can take control. It's not too late for you to bring up whatever's on your mind. If we get a chance, police hazing incident or what is alleged to be a possible hazing incident. Uh, you make up your own mind. We'll talk about that if we get the chance. Your calls are welcome. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Johnny Ray is with us normally at this time. Not always, though, because it just depends on how things go. Sometimes earlier, but mostly, usually, we save it for the very end. Johnny Ray's Game of the Week. Last week, Johnny Ray, you brought back uh, a favorite Hearthstone it had uh, some sort of an expansion pack released for it. This is a free card game that is based in the World of Warcraft universe. Yes, Hearthstone is free to play. You have been raving about Hearthstone for uh, months on and off the air. You have played it quite a bit, especially now that this new expansion pack is out. As I understand it, you spent quite a bit of time on that within the last week or so. Mm-hmm. And what did you want to share tonight? Because, I mean, obviously that's what you've been busy playing, so there's probably no new aspect about that to discuss, uh, or at least, you know, not from a general interest. But what uh, what do you want to highlight? Well, Ian, in fact, the Curse of Nexramus, which is the expansion that I got into last week, is, I think it's four, five, five wings, and each one is going to be released a week apart. So oh, today, wow. today I was actually looking forward to talking about the latest wing that's opening. Last week it was the Arachnid Quarter, uh, spider themed, obviously, and mm -hmm. this week it's the Plague Quarter. Mm. However, the is that disease uh, themed. It very good, Mark. Yes, <laughs> it is. Um, the The release time is 
11.59 Pacific time, 11.59 p.m. Pacific for U.S. players. So my, now I think that uh, that hasn't happened yet. Am I right? Uh, correct. Yeah, we're at 6, six o'clock over in uh, the West Coast. Okay, so six hours away. So I'm unable 650. to... 6.50. Uh, right. Um, and, you know, maybe that was because there were some hiccups. I thought it went pretty well, but there was a good... 20 to 30 minute stretch of time last week where it was impossible to get into Battle.net to play mm. because I, I think World of Warcraft itself actually went down that day and a bunch of those players were trying to get into play Hearthstone. It was a mess. But okay. but anyway, it's not available so I can't talk about uh, the Plague Quarter. But uh, what I've been thinking about was... Um, You're staying up late tonight, right, Johnny Ray? I, d- I can't you do it. You gotta work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow, I'm, though. I'm considering it, but I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. It'll be there when you get off work tomorrow. Right. That's a good way to look at it. Yeah. So, Ian, I'm going to ask you a question, and you might not know the answer. Which game, which card game do I prefer, Hearthstone or Dominion? Well, I know you're a f- huge fan of Dominion. I mean, I don't know which you prefer because you've been playing a lot of Hearthstone recently. Dominion is a physical card game that has an online version that is a very popular game. Hearthstone, I don't believe, has a physical version. No, it doesn't. So, I've heard that it's it would be impossible to to make a physical version. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm going to go with Dominion because it is a more versatile game. Dominion, I prefer Dominion to Hearthstone. I think Dominion, without a doubt, is a better game. It's uh, fundamentally different. They're two different kinds of games. Hearth- Hearthstone is a collectible card game. Mm-hmm. You get your cards, you create a deck, and you play that deck against other people. Dominion gives you a random assortment of cards, stacks of identical cards of the different stacks have different cards on them, mm-hmm. but the, st- uh, the stack is full of the same kind of card. And then you go in, you everybody starts with an identical deck, and you're building your deck as you play. And that basically that puts everyone on a level on playing, playing field. field. Unless they're experienced, in which case experience is going to count in Dominion. If you know how to play, you probably will be all right against some noobs. But even so, a newbie can win uh, their first time in dominion uh that is that is true that's was an interesting hallmark of the game i thought that um that the new people could come in and and be lucky and win more so than maybe in some other games but so i played dominion i love dominion i bought every time a new box came out i would get it yeah, i would get the collection i would get a new one and then someone a fan a a very programming competent a savvy fan created a fan site mm-hmm. that duplicated the game and automated it. There wasn't, I don't think there was a, there was like a single player version. They didn't, didn't create an AI for it, but they created an environment where Dominion players could go in and meet up for games so and play against each other. So that didn't exist before a fan made it? It wasn't the company that, that did that? Right. It was a fan. That's neat. It, yeah. And it was a very robust platform. And uh, and a robust environment, I guess. I'm not sure what the right word is I'm mean? looking for. What does that mean, robust? It means it means it's, it, in this context, it means that there were a lot of features in the oh, site. Okay. You could see there were there were thousands of players playing the game, mm-hmm. and you could see your record against any player. You could just use a, a search, and and you could get see how many wins and losses you had against hmm. any one player. And it would keep track of your success with different kinds of cards. And it was and free, so right? Forth. And it was free. Okay. And um, and and when the new expansions were coming out, this guy was, was adding it to the website. And he was doing it with the blessing of the creator of the game. No kidding. Um, uh, Donald X Vaccarino is how Now I that's cool, it. man. That's a cool guy. Yes. Yes. And it was a beautiful thing. I, I wiled away the hours there. And I thought it was time profitably spent. Now, Rio Grande Games and Donald X Vaccarino made in a went into a business deal with Goko. To Goko is a web developer, I think, or a, mm-hmm. a they went they they made an agreement with them that Goko would create a web version of Dominion that people could buy their way into. So reinvent the wheel. I mean, this uh, guy already, this fan already made an awesome version of this game. Mm-hmm. Now they're going to make another one? Or when was this that they decided to do this? This was probably two and a half years ago. Okay, so it's probably done then. It now. is done. Yes, okay. it's done, and I've played it. Um, How's it compared to the uh, the original freebie? It, I haven't explored all the functionality of mm-hmm. it. It is more... Um, 
I haven't done any multiplayer on it. I've only done single player. They hmm. sort of had this adventure mode yeah. that I thought would be kind of neat. And it's fun. One of the advantages to the GoCo version, the um, the legitimate version, if you will, is that it has the original art. Mm-hmm. The isotropic dot uh, Dominion dot isotropic was the fan site. Isotropic had all the cards, but it had like the they name didn't of use, the card. They didn't use the art. They got different art. I but see. supposedly the art they used was the art that Donald X used in his mock-ups of the game when he was oh, designing cool. it. So, all right. So, why are you bringing all this up? Because I like Dominion better, and I could buy, I could pay to play it. But I play Hearthstone instead, which I don't like as much. And I did lay down money to play Hearthstone. But Hearthstone started out as free to play. There's, 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 I think, 500 cards total, plus a few more now that these expansions are coming out. But there's 500 cards total. You start the game uh, basically with a little over 100. And if you like, you can play and win in-game currency, buy decks, and, and grow your collection. And I enjoyed doing that just fine. And uh, it was it was enjoyable. Like I said, I guess I used the word twice, but um, it was great fun to build my collection for free. Just go in and play. I was playing against other people, um, so I had that uh, that human opponent, which right. is is key um, for for a real challenge. And when this expansion came out, I was just so pleased with Hearthstone that I. Sp- spent twenty dollars to unlock the whole wing so when that hmm. when that when that adventure opens up at uh, four in the morning or whatever for me I'm not gonna have to pay for it it's gonna be there ready for me all yeah. of these wings I've got them already because I wanted to so reward. you've unlocked all of the ones that are coming out for 20 bucks no I've unlocked this Just particular one, one week's worth five five weeks worth five weeks five. I thought it was once per week that they were doing it's once every five weeks they're they're they've got this thing called curse of Nexramus, which is in five parts. And those, each one of those comes out every week. Okay. And then when that's done, who knows when the next uh, great expansion will be So what are you saying? You're saying that you don't like Hearthstone as much as Dominion, but yet Dominion you shelled bit- out money for Hearthstone. Because of the business model. Also, it's a little bit because of the vagaries of what happened with Dominion. See, Dominion sort of... Donald X, when he made that agreement with Goko, he kind of, even though... He didn't really take anything away from me. He he took something away from me because Isotropic, they were buddies with Donald X, and they respectfully closed down Isotropic they shut when down their Goko service. went up. Yeah. And uh, I think they they I think many of them went on staff with Goko. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe not. But but the the practical effect to me was I had a fantastic Dominion, online Dominion game with loads of players to play with. And then when the officially licensed version went up, then I didn't. And I would have had to pay... But the officially licensed one, is it free at all? The the Yes, it is free at all. The, the, the basic set of cards, you can play with those. But if you want to get any of the expansions, you, you have to buy that. them. And... I don't know. I'm not. I'm not opposed to. I want to support them too, but I. I haven't yet. You only have so much time, and only have so much money. Johnny Ray's game of the week, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. You can join us online. Maybe we'll talk about the police hazing at that time. Join us online in the meantime, at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. I did all this construction. Well, I had the uh, the inspector come through, and he tells me it looks really good, but I think it looks better with Mr. Hamilton. I go, excuse me? He grabs the sledgehammer, and he just starts tearing the place apart. He says it'd be better with Mr. Hamilton. He was looking for payoff. A $10 know? bill? The guy was crazy. He went into my kitchen, and uh, he asked for Mr. Lincoln. I, I'm, I'm, I don't think I believe you. My mother left me a, a, a porcelain doll collection that he just went to town on. And <laughs> this, is, this is the problem with, with having to have inspections. Thanks for the call, man. No, no, that was believable at the very first point. The guy was asking for Mr. Hamilton. <laughs> Mr. Ha- How about Mr. Alexander Franklin? Hamilton <laughs> is on the front of a $10 bill. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, holy crap, he's banging holes in the wall for a $10 bill? <laughs> Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 
This is the Central Scrutinizer. I steal your labor by force through taxation. My job is to spy on you and keep you from hearing things like the Freedom Fiends. I especially do not want you to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to keep them drone-proof. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. Do not go to freedomfiends.com and click on the torrent link and learn how to torrent Fiends archives. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Tuesday, July 20th. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates, online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Tuesday, July 29th, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,306, silver opened at $20.62, and Bitcoin is trading around $582.26. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from growyourowngroceries.org, now offering an eight-week course where you can learn to treat the most common family ailments with simple medicines that you can grow or easily find. Learn more at growyourowngroceries.org. And support comes from Bitmain Technology, announcing the newly released Antminer S3. 440 giga hash at only 366 watts. Buy yours today, bitmaintech.com, or call them up at 844-BITMAIN. That's 844-248-6246. In the news, a report released Monday by the Special Inspector General for Afghanistan found that nearly 750,000 weapons handed over by U.S. forces to Afghan soldiers were poorly managed, with many falling into the hands of terrorists. The Los Angeles Times reports that due to a lack of good record keeping, the $625 million worth of small arms and artillery given to the country were insufficiently recorded, leaving thousands of weapons vulnerable to theft. The report also notes that the 747,000 weapons provided to Afghan forces exceeds their armament needs by at least 112,000. Thousands of protesters gathered in New York on Friday in support of more than 880 Palestinians killed in Israel's Gaza offensive, with over 200 of the victims being children. Reuters reports that around 3,000 demonstrators gathered around Times Square, waving Palestinian flags and signs condemning Israel, and criticizing U.S. aid to the Jewish state. The protest drew supporters from areas far outside of New York City, including Connecticut and other nearby states. Monday in the U.S. House of Representatives, a three-page bill was introduced that would amend the Controlled Substances Act, the federal law that criminalizes marijuana, to exempt plants with an extremely low percentage of THC. Now, if passed, it would be the first time a federal law allowed any medical marijuana use. Just this year alone, 11 states have passed legislation loosening the regulation on particular strains of cannabis. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from a 